welcome back. Today we're going to play Nancy Drew, The Deadly Device. Uh, I've seen a couple people play through this game before, so this is not a blind playthrough, but it should still be fun. I've not yet played this game, this is my first playthrough of it. Um, and honestly, I don't remember what everybody was doing. Also, um, I'm trying a different sound setup here, so if there's an echo, I have no idea why. Um, I'm no longer capturing game audio through the computer, but just through my speaker now. Um, so you don't hear the game audio directly, you hear it played through my speakers, which should, should sound just fine. So with that, let's give this a go. Ooh, wow. For my first Nancy Drew game, do I want to pick Amateur or Master Sleuth? Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think we'll stick with Amateur, because we are playing together, just for fun. doesn't sound good. Scientist found electrocuted in laboratory? Hmm. You don't see that every day. Nancy, you made it. Good. You couldn't tell me much earlier. What's the story? You'll find all the information in Nico's desk drawer. to the lab and a cover for the cover say you're doing due diligence for a new investor i'll back you up if anyone asks but full access to the lab no it's too dangerous if i can't investigate everything i might have a problem on my hands all right i'll have ellie set up a demo for you but that's it the equipment in this lab is extremely dangerous got it approach the case how you want but I think I know where you should start. Ryan, the police really thought she might be behind Nico's murder. They just couldn't prove it. She built the machine that killed him, and supposedly she threatened him. Start there. I've got to leave the office. If you need me, I'll be on my phone. But good luck. Stay safe. All right, so that's our mission. Uh, we're playing as Nancy Drew. Um, all right, so here's all the controls in case uh, we're ever getting confused. Go back to the main menu. Let's resume. Read the case file. Can't check that off yet. All right. Uh, don't need a hint about how to read the case file now, do I? So we got a journal here. Observations. Case file. In Nico's office has a summary file I should, uh, of all the info I should need. I should check back if I forgot anything. There's the combination. Uh, I've been hired by Victor Lawson to investigate the cold case murder of prominent scientist Nico Jovic. Uh, the police were unable to solve the case and currently have Nico's research in evidence. Victor hopes sending in an undercover detective may finally crack this difficult case. Okay. Suspects. Oh. Blank. We got a blank check there. We can suspect anybody we so choose, apparently. All right. Um, so let's read through the case file and investigate Ryan. Got this nice, beautiful desk in front of us. Um, oh, here we go. Wait, where'd my arrow go? Okay, let's step over here. That's a cute looking bird. Check that out. It's kind of mist-like in a way. Uh, let's see, what have we here? I need to find a way to fix this. Oh, what's broken about it? Hmm. 
other than it just appears not to be on. But okay, we're supposed to check the case file, wherever that is here. This must be the drawer where Victor put the case file. Yep. Okay, and our combination for the case file, or for this drawer, is 171943. Submit. Okay. Nancy, here are the notes from police investigation. Keep the contents of the file to yourself and do not remove it from Nico's office. If anyone should discover the file on you, your cover would be blown. All right, so our victim is Nico Jovic, uh, 61. Theoretical physicist, co-owner of technology at Tomorrow Today facility. Body discovered in Tesla Coil Lab by Ellie York at 12.13 a.m. Wow, these people work late. Um, body removed by coroner. Cause of death confirmed as electrocution by a high voltage discharge of the Tesla coil. Um, I mean, it's fair to suspect the Tesla coils would cause the electrocution, but how do you know? Well, I mean, okay, we'll just assume they connected the dots somehow and said that it was the Tesla coil that did it. Victim was widely acclaimed as a genius in the field, known to have poor social skills, perceived as unfriendly or uncaring, even antagonistic by co-workers, unmarried, no immediate family living. Crime scene evidence, victim's expertise, and decades of experience in wireless energy. Wait, crime scene evidence, victim's expertise, and decades of experience in wireless energy and the high-level safety features built into the Tesla coil's operating procedure indicate against victim's death as a workplace accident. Victim's death is therefore regarded as suspicious. Personnel. All right, the people who have key cards are uh, employees. Mason Quinto, a research assi res assistant in day shift, claims to have been on a date at time of death, but according to his date, they had parted ways by 10.30 p.m. Dislike of victim evident during questioning. Ellie York, research assistant, night shift. On site at time of death. Called 911 to report incident. Left town the following evening. Ryan Kilpatrick, technical engineer, day shift. Stated that she was driving back from the lab, or back to the lab, from Colorado Springs at time of death. Appeared distraught evasive and nervous during questioning. Built the machine that killed victim. Gray Courtright, head of security night shift. On time at site of death, or on site at time of death. Taciturn, recalcitrant, and unfriendly toward police. Refused to speak of his relationship with the victim. Coworkers seem uncertain as to how he has continued to keep his position. Victor Laza, laboratory co-owner, office off-site. So he's the fellow who hired us. Laboratory co-owner. Um, office off-site oversees business and financial decisions. Stated he was working alone in off-site office at time of death. So there's two co-owners of the facility, Niko Jovic and Victor Lawson. Notes. Suspect questioning failed to provide an ironclad alibi for any employee. Keycard log records indicate another entry shortly before victim's death, but security video obtained from head of security showed no one entering lab at time of victim's entrance until after his time of death. Um, the keycard used to enter the lab after victim has not been recovered from premises, and it does not match any keycard ID in the logs. It is believed that a power surge occurred on site as a result of coil tests being run shortly before a victim's death, causing a glitch in the log system. Witness statements and crime scene evidence suggest Ryan Kilpatrick as the prime suspect. She was arrested and brought to the police station for interrogation. After a lengthy questioning, Ryan Kilpatrick was released due to lack of concrete evidence, but remains a person of interest. No further leads at this time. Case remains open unsolved. Crime scene decontaminated and labs, office, and surrounding rooms restored to pre-incident state. Personal belongings of victim recovered as evidence, including files and experiment notes, shall remain in police possession for further investigation. 
scientific equipment has been released back to lab. Secured site reopened for scientific use. Oh, well, okay, good to know. Can I close the drawer? No, I, I don't need this. Can I just, like, put this back, please? Uh, okay, it's closed. Is there anything else I should know? What about the other side of this desk? Uh, yeah, okay, we'll turn around here. Uh, I want to check out the other side of the desk if I can. I just want to take a look. Alright, so we got some kind of electric apparatus here. Uh, apparently I can't pe peek over at the desk. It's a nice little painting. Um, got some bookshelves in case you like some books, in case you like reading. Nancy does periodically comment on things, which is why I'm clicking everywhere. However, it appears there's nothing of interest here. Um, it looks like it's missing the opening mechanism. Oh, looks like we can't get candy today. That's unfortunate. And I was looking forward to having some coffee candy. Um, all right. Oh, so task list. Uh, review the security video mentioned in the case file. Meet everyone at the lab. Well, it looks like it, our checklist is getting checked off automatically for us, which is kind of nice. Ooh, that's no good. Hello, Nancy. I forgot to tell you. We've been having a lot of outages lately. You know, you mention that. <laughs> I think you're having one right now. It's nothing to worry about. We've got backup on the big systems. Most of the time, Gray can get things back online in an hour. Occasionally, it takes a while, but rarely does it come close to the critical window. Critical window? Okay, noted. Oh, tasks. Escape the lounge is now on my list of tasks. Okay, what's that? Ah, oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Come on. Ow, my toe. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Ooh. Ouch. Look, I just changed the color of the sky. This was not what I expected when I set the alarm. Do not remove. Uh, I'd like to take that. Apparently I can't. Let's see, what can we do? Oh, all right, let's read about Nikola Tesla. He is a genius, visionary, and inventor who left an indelible mark, meaning unerasable mark, on the world. With 700 patents to his name, Tesla broke new ground in research and design to usher in a second industrial revolution. Many of today's technologies are based on Tesla's insights. Tesla was born in, on July 10, 1856, in Smijan, in the Austro-Hungarian province of Liko, modern-day Croatia, to Serbian parents. He showed signs of genius at an early age. His ability to solve complex mathematical and mechanical problems in his head helped him come up with his inventions. One of his first inventions was a bladeless water wheel, an early version of the famous Tesla turbine when he was only five years old. In 1884, Tesla arrived in New York with just four cents and a letter of introduction to Thomas Edison in his pocket. The letter from the inventor Charles Batchelor stated, My dear Edison, I know of two great men, and you are one of them. The other is this young man. From the first interview, Tesla, ins er, Tesla bleh. from the first interview, Edison recognized Tesla's talent and promptly hired him to improve Edison's direct current dynamos promising a 50,000 bonus. Should Tesla succeed? And keep in mind, this is an 1850-something dollars, so that's a lot of money. These civilities were not to last. 
Despite their shared genius, the two men were as unlike as possible. Self-taught Edison worked by trial and error and backed DC power, whereas Tesla fully visualized his inventions before building them and believed that AC was the future of electricity. The breakup came when Tesla, having fixed the DC dynamos, went to claim his bonus. Edison declared the offer had just been just a joke. Tesla quit. Now free to focus on AC power, but lacking the necessary funds, Tesla was forced to dig ditches to meet ends meet. This ended when the industrialist George Westinghouse bought the AC polyphase patents Tesla had filed. Tesla and Westinghouse partnered to face off against Edison in an electrical battle known as the War of the Currents. Tesla genius was not restricted to AC, he was also the inventor of radio, although history books continue to give that credit to Guglielmo Marconi. Um, I mean, I kind of do too. I think they both independently did that invention. I wouldn't credit either one of them to the exclusion of the other, so I think they're both credited with this invention. But what do I know? Tesla's first radio patents were filed in 1897 and granted in 1900. Marconi's radio patents weren't filed until November 1900 were initially refused because they infringed on Tesla's existing patents. Who cares? They both invented the thing. They might not have talked to each other. Had they but only talked to each other, we might have had radio earlier. We might have flying cars today, but oh well. In 1904, for unconfirmed reasons, Tesla's patents were reversed and the radio patent was given to Marconi. Initially, after Tesla's death in 1943, the Supreme Court would restore the radio patent to Tesla for purely historical reasons. I'm sorry, for purely political reasons. Oh, I'm sorry, I misread that. Ironically, after Tesla's death in 1943, the Supreme Court would restore the radio patent to Tesla purely for political reasons. Um, radio was just one of Tesla's innovations. His creations included the induction motor, a remote-controlled toy boat that had foreshadowed robotics, the Tesla coil in the Colorado Springs lab. Hey, that's where we are, right? Um, the first AC foil first AC hydroelectric uh, power plant at Niagara Falls, the Tesla turbine engine, fluorescent lights, the doomed wireless energy transmitter uh, called Wired and Cliff Tower, one of the first plans for radar, and even a proposed death beam for military use. But Tesla's genius came at a price. He cared more about inventing than making money, and often ran out of funds as a result. He only had a few close friends, one of whom was Mark Twain. He had a pathological fear of germs, an obsession with the number three, was repulsed with the sight of pearls, and suffered from visions throughout his life. He had a strong attachment to pigeons, particularly a white one he cared for in his room. He outlived his fame, dying in 1943 alone in his room at the Hotel New Yorker. After Tesla's death, the FBI seized his paperwork and possessions, eventually releasing them in 1952. Still theories abound that more was found in that hotel room than has ever been released. One of the greatest personalities of the 19th century, Tesla saw his star fade during his lifetime. Eclipsed in history, his legacy remains in the technology that runs the world today, from the electricity in our homes, to the motors running our machines, to futuristic visions made reality. Nikola Tesla lives on all around us. Lifetimes of Nikola Tesla by Jason Smith. All right, any other books for us to read? Or maybe we should take care of that alarm. Or maybe I we should... Never see what that alarm is about. Oh, I just want to set the alarm clock and just, you know, when the alarm clock goes off, then we'll wake up and deal with the problem. But, okay, fine. Is there anything in here? B.S. has B.O.? Hey, how did that end up in here, too? B.S. I wonder who that could be. B.S. We better check the case file. Unless I somebody... need to find the power knob before I can use it. Oh. Okay. I mean, yeah, I could, like, make oatmeal in a pot or something. Um, that's pretty cool. What else do we got? Uh, oh, books. More books. Anything we can read. Well... They say not to judge a book by its cover, so let's go looking around the rest of the room. There's Nikola Tesla. Um, let's see. How do we escape, though? 
Here is a video game, I think. All right, so. Oh, hang on. Level complete. Awesome. No, let's seriously, um, maybe consider dealing with the alarm. Uh, let's see. How do I get out of this room? Oh, here's the door. I found the door. Oh! You, come with me. Okay. What's going on? No chit chat. Come, now. Alright. Sure. We need to get the system shut down before the grid goes critical. <sighs> get all those switches powered off. I'll do the rest. Okay. Is this like. Has this have been used to keep the power on? I need to keep this together with any other evidence I find. Huh. Okay, we found some evidence. Some kind of belt or something. Nice work. Now get out. Hey. What you? What just we... happened? Yeah, let's chat. If the grid had gone critical, we'd all be dead right now. I'm gray. I don't care who you are. Don't tell me. Get out. Okay. Nice to meet you, uh, gray. Cool. Full power and five charges. When fully powered, stations send out additional charges in all directions. How's it going? Who let you in? But we've already met in the lab. Never mind. I'm Nancy. I'm here doing research for a new owner. Just what this place needs. You're not a fan of the idea? Nope. Why not? Not a fan of most ideas. Nobody likes change. That's a strange attitude for someone who works at a research facility. <laughs> Might be. Can we what chat? What do you do here? Job description says security agent. I suppose it's more valid than not. How long have you worked here? Don't know. Can you estimate? Mm, nah. <laughs> You're really not going to tell me how long you've worked here. So it would seem. Okay. Cool. Nice to Bye. meet you. Bye. Well, seems like the first person we meet here is a security agent, and they seem like a perfectly nice person. And reasonable. And I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. This is where I started. Uh, can I meet the rest of the folks? Where's the rest of the folks? Check it out. An elevator. Uh, let's go up. What's this here? I thought I saw something, some poster here. Yeah, I want to check this out. 15 things you never knew about electricity. And see, they got like a binary counter that counts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is like an 8, this is a 4, this is a 2, this is a 1. If you add 1 and 2, you get 3. Here's a 4, and if you add 4 and 1, you get 5. And So that's a binary uh, clock, rather. You could call it a binary counter, too, I suppose. The first electric lighthouse was the Statue of Liberty. An electric eel can produce a 650 volt shock. The largest electrical blackout due to date cut power of 600 million in India in 2012. You can light up a burnt out fluorescent bulb in your hand using a Tesla coil. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder how that works. You can light up a burnt-out fluorescent bulb in your hand using a Tesla coil. What causes it? I don't know what causes those to burn out, but um, huh? Lightning can carry up to one billion volts. The phenomenon called Saint Elmo's fire is actually luminous plasma using a grounded object in an electrical field. Voltage doesn't kill people. Current kills people. Current is as low as sixty milliamps can be lethal. 
uh, the lightning rod was invented by Benjamin Franklin. I mispronounced that, lightning rod. Fireflies are 90% more efficient at producing light than incandescent light bulbs. Man, you guys really like your fluorescent light and don't like the fact that um, heat's generated by incandescent bulbs. I mean, considering that the word incandescent is based on the same Latin word that um, originates the English word candle, it's supposed to generate some heat. But okay, fine. Silver is the best metal for conducting electricity, followed by copper, then gold. Oh really, copper is a better conductor than gold is. So that's, I guess gold is just much rarer, or I'm not sure why it's so much more valuable. Um, Humphrey Davy invented an electric light bulb in 1802, more than 70 years before the Edison bulb. The first electric car was built in 1828. Okay, if you say so. I'm not sure if I believe that. Static electricity was first described in the 6th century BCE by Talus of Mil Malatius. I don't mispronounce that for sure. Got an adapter? There are 12 different standard outlet plugs around the world. Nikola Tesla invented or created the longest ever man-made lightning bolt at a record of 130 feet. Wow. Ways to be energy efficient. We can read the rest of this later. Um, if the room were better illuminated, I would have a better time reading this, to be honest. But it's nighttime, and the game's emphasizing that it's nighttime. So can I turn around and check out what's in here? Oh, uh, it's off limits. Okay, cool. Um, huh, do I see a door over here? What's up? Anybody out here? This must be a lounge. Tesla coils, a user's guide. Well, I'm not going to read this all. Been doing a ton of reading here. Um, so, I mean, yeah, Faraday invented the Faraday cage to shield people from, uh, or not shield people, but shield uh, devices from electromagnetic fields. Let's see, yeah, it's just a metal cage. Um, it's metal, so it's capable of conducting electricity, and uh, so the contents of the cage are not distracted by the electromagnetic field outside the cage. Um, the cage itself forms kind of a barrier. Oh, okay. We've got the book. We can read it later. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Mason's not very forgiving. Uh, can I help you? Oh, hi. What brings you here? What's up? School? Actually, I'm checking the lab out for a new potential owner. Oh, yeah. Nancy, right? Yes. Ellie. Victor wanted me to show you the coil. I guess you could say you're lucky. Most people never get to see the inside of the lab. And we're not exactly up to giving tours, considering. Ready? Sure. Awesome. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Whew. Is this the coil that was responsible for Nico's death? Yes. It's been rewired since that night. It never should have been set up that way in the first place. Why was it wired that way? There must have been a reason, right? Now, I need you to focus on what we are doing. It's very dangerous. What you're in right now is called a Faraday cage. Oh, how does it work? Basically, it conducts the electricity away from whatever is inside it, keeping you safe. Here we go! I mean, was it necessary to put me in the cage for the purposes of this demonstration? Just asking. Okay, that's it. Back to the office. Uh, I'm sure you could, like, put any... Thanks for the demo. Any chance you could let me look around in the lab sometime? <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, let's see. We just met, uh, I believe it was Ellie here. Uh, so let's see, what does Ellie do? Can you tell me what you do at the lab? In plain terms, I'm a research scientist. How long have you worked here? Some days, feels like decades. I don't actually know. Two years? Maybe a bit less. What do you mean you don't know? Do you share the office? In a way. Mason's station is over there. 
He's entering the day. Okay, so that's why you yelled at me earlier when I tried to walk into that uh, cube. It's because that's Mason's uh, office. You said the hmm. coil should never have been wired the way it was the night Nico died. Why not? Wiring the secondary and primary coils together is a good way to get yourself killed. Or someone else. Are you sure it was Ryan? Yes. Why would she do that? She said Nico insisted. Does that sound like something Nico would do? I never understood him. But if he was even a fraction as smart as his work leads me to believe, why would he do something so dangerous? Oh, uh, wow. Well, that sounds really suspicious. I mean, if somebody's that insistent on doing something so dangerous, you want to get at least something in writing. Just evidence that the person asked for things to be done that way. Is there a way into the lab without a key card? No. Trust me, I've tried. I'm not great at remembering to bring my card, and Gray does not like letting me in. So, the way to get into the lab would be for somebody to borrow or take your card, and, okay, whatever. Bye. Bye. You don't even have 2FA. Not even 2FA. All right. Well, I guess I can't snoop this workspace while you're here, can I? Um, snoop the security booth, power off the electrical grid, explore the lounge, explore the halls. Uh, have we? It says meet everyone at the lab. I don't know if we've met everyone yet. Oh, I can't check everything off yet. Um, read the case file. Did that. I did do that. Investigate Ryan. Explore Nico's office. Let me stick the login, meet everyone at the lab. Still have to do that. Explore the halls. Still have to do that. Okay. Uh, it's good that this checklist is here. It's really helpful. So. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Mason's not very forgiving. Oh, fine. You don't want to be messing with his stuff. What can you tell me about him? Sorry, I was just a little curious. You know, he's not here. Make you a deal. He's been lording his high score aggregation over me. Take him down, and I'll let you poke around. Oh, okay. Cool. I'll let you go. Bye. All right, so, yeah. Guess we just have to win a couple games of aggregation. How hard can that be? Let's see. What do we got? Oops, that's the elevator. Let's save that for... Until after we've looked around everywhere else here. So we got our facts about electricity. Um, we got the locked door, which we can't get in. Um, whoa, what was this? What did I just see here? Can I turn around somehow and take another look at this? Yeah, what's this? Is this. I mean, it looks like a door that's taken off its hinges. Is there anything else around here? Some kind of janitor closet, I guess. Oh, and here's um, the office again. I've already been in here. Uh, I can't go left. I guess we could go back to the first floor. Ooh, there's, yeah, it's a high voltage room over there. Oh, I have to put my cursor down here to go right. Wait. Yeah, but no, I guess my main point is that I can't get into this room, nor on the other side can I, um, oh, what's it? I can't get through there either. I guess that's where the lab is, on both sides of the elevator. So, let's go back down. See, we've already been in the... Yeah, we've already been here. I'll just leave his door open. Wait, can I turn left here and make it... No, I can't go through that door either. This, I guess, is pretty confusing. Just in terms of being able to navigate around. There's the lounge. 
don't feel like hanging out there very long. There's Nico's office. Um, I think, is there a task here for Snoop around Nico's office? Did that. Yeah, there is. Cool. It's not snooping, because I um, kind of expect it to look there. Out of order. Now you're saying something about I need a knob in order to be able to turn it on. I'm not sure where I'd find a knob. Oh, right, aggregation. That was the game over here. Let's go beat it. Uh, right over here, 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 there. Found it. Wow, Mason really likes this game. So we need 22,500 to beat Mason. That doesn't seem so bad. Okay. Well, that was easy. Just need 22,500. How hard can that be? Um, so... All right, we're most of the way there, guys. Huh. There we go. Oh, that was silly. Thankfully, I can still do things this way. Um, but yeah, let's get the yellow attached there. We don't have a yellow up there. That's unfortunate. Um, Hmm. Can I get a yellow and a blue, please? There's a blue. Oh, I can see the next thing here. Hello. Okay. Level five. Oh, that, uh, it's a wild card, apparently. Also got some fences here, I guess, that prevent us from hooking up block too many blocks at a time. Um, well, that's not a wild. Well, this is the wild card. So I can cast this this way. Um, okay. Um, Hmm. I don't have anything clever here, do I? We've got tons of yellows, but I need to aggregate four of them, or three of them, for anything to disappear. Um, okay, blocks of four can also disappear. Right, and now we need to get rid of this thing. Hey, Mr. Corrupted. Um, next one is this, which we want over there. Oh man, now we're going to have a blue coming up. That doesn't work so well with my plan. One, two, oh. I have too many yellows again. Uh, let's cast this over here. Uh, next one coming up is blue, in fact. Um, well, that was unwise. Okay. Next is blue. Okay, so blue over here would be useful. Um, I don't have any way... Oh, here we go. Let's throw this over here. Get our green pointed up. Two, three. All right. Uh, next is yellow. I need to do better at planning ahead, don't I? This game's not especially, I don't know, 
I was assuming this would be a casual game, easy to... trivial to beat. Um, it's trivial to survive, but beating a level seems challenging. Um... <laughs> oh, just one slow. One slow. Okay. Okay. Um... So that's what we're doing and we're one slow once more um there we go oh i put that that was really dumb that was terrifically dumb like the dumbness of that is hard to measure Oh, the game's being nice to me now. Okay, we beat... Nice! New high score. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, this is a game within Nancy Drew, the Deadly Device. And now we've taken the high score on the high score list, and we can resume playing the murder mystery game. At least I'm assuming it was a murder. Somebody died, and we're investigating it. Um, I should provide the backstory again here. So, one of the co-owners of the lab, um, in fact, let me go back to the case file just so we make sure we got everybody correct. Um, where's my case file? Where's my case file? Is this the case file? Evidence? No. That's just an electronics book. I would need to actually, yeah, I don't have the case file on hand, so I can't easily summarize the details of the event. Um, but I believe one of the co-owners is asking me to investigate the death of a research scientist who is a PhD who is the other co-owner of the facility. Um, and so I'm an undercover agent working under the guise of um, just uh, doing some research for a new investor. And so uh, the PhD who died um, got electrocuted, and it's up to me to figure out how, what were the circumstances of that electrocution. I beat Mesa's high score. You did good, kid. This is me looking the other way. It's a limited time offer. Okay. Bye. Goodbye, Nancy. Cool. Password. Well, I think this is Mason's desk, right? So let's try the obvious. Oh, that didn't quite do it. What a shame. Is there anything to look at here? Anything at all? Wow, Mason is very detail-oriented. Gotta respect that. Okay, circuit theory cheat sheet. V is voltage, I is current, R is resistance, C is capacitance, W is frequency, J is the square root of negative one, L is inductance, F is frequency, X, C is capacitance, reactance. Um, so Wheeler's formula for secondary coil calculations is that the inductance of, wait, the inductance in microhenries is equal to r squared n squared over 9r plus 10h. Yeah, I think the point here though is not so much looking at the equations, but just seeing that a number of things uh, do stand out about this. Yeah, as Mr. Corrupted point out, um, why are there so many letters in yellow? And we see like there's a little staff or cane or what would you say like you got all these dashes next to this cane thing um i mean that's a game of hangman going on right there so our letters i suppose for hangman it's not like this password is easily spelled out um our letters are e e o um whatever this letter is i think h e e o h a n W T S 
S T um, and H. This is an H here, right? It's a little tricky to tell on the screen. Let me take a little bit closer look at this. Um, oh, I think that's an M. Okay, so let me write this down here. E E O M A N W T uh, S S T I think that's it. Oh, and H. So those are our letters that we have to work with for this game of Hangman. Putting that in alphabetical order. That's A E E H um, M N O uh, S S T T W if I'm right. That looks right. So we got to find some way to arrange said letters um, to anagram. Um, keeping in mind that, like, see, there's this little apostrophe thing here. So it's got to be like five letters, an apostrophe, an S. Because unless you're using some kind of um, alien language, uh, S tends to follow an apostrophe. I mean, sometimes that could be a T, but usually it's an S. Um, so that's six, and this is eight. Uh, I appear to be a letter short. What letter am I missing? E, E, O, M, A, N, T. I think I forgot a T. W, S, S, T, H. No, I think I did indeed get all the letters. And yet, I'm not seeing um, what's the answer here. Because I've got, like, I've, I see that I've gotten 12 letters written down, and I need 14. Am I missing anything? All right, let's take a quick look at this. I mean, yeah, we've got... Oh, I've seen this formula before. Um, the F, the resonant frequency, is 1 over 2 pi square root of um, inductance times capacitance. Yeah, that's true. I've, I've derived that before. The inductive reactance is um, that quantity squared. Or at least it has uh, not the square root on the LC, but still has the 1 over 2 pi going on. Um, an inductor, well, I'm sorry, then we got the voltage is equal to I over JWL. It's equal to current divided by voltage. Um, oh, I see. J is just an acronym for the square root of negative 1. So this is basically current times I over WL. Uh, where W is the frequency and L is the inductance. I think I've seen that formula before as well. Um, so yeah, we have um, a transformer here. We have one circuit, or part of a circuit, and then you have another part of a circuit, and they've got um, there are <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen a transformer, but generally they have a magnet and a coil involved. Um, well, no, I'm, I'm misremembering things. A transformer will have two sets of coils that are interlaced with each other, if I remember right, and one has more rings than the other in terms of number of iterations. Um, and so it's a way to boost voltage or reduce voltage. It exchanges voltage for amperage uh, while still retaining the same power. Um, it's a really poor explanation and you should research that yourself or ask me questions and I can do some research for you. Oh, I missed a letter here. The try progressively smaller gauges for small scale prototype run through full trial for each size to maximum efficiency. So I missed an O and an L. L, A-E-E-H, L-M-N-O, 
O S S T T W. Those are the letters we have to work with. Um, so I'm not sure that this is going to be such an easy anagram to figure out. Uh, generally, I'm better at Scrabble than at um, than at this kind of anagram thing because you'd only have to find one word, not two. Um, I mean, with the W H A L A E, that kind of makes me think whale, but that would be kind of surprising. Um, we have numerous common letters here, which makes finding the two words challenging, because you could pretty much spell any one word on the left, um, and the rest is kind of just a mess. So, yeah, that's your anagram game. Um, let's see, voltage is equal to, oh, Wait, this is a transformer, right? This is talking about if we have three kilo ohms at 40 volts, and we've got, oh, well that's weird. Resistance and E usually means what? I'm not seeing an E over here. 40 volts, four kilovolts, eight kilovolts. Well, I don't know. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe we need to just keep going on with the game and then we could figure out what's the context for all those letters. And maybe, or maybe somewhere else on the desk um, provides a clue. Um, I'm not seeing any clues over here. If I want to see the case file, I gotta go back um, downstairs. Is there anything we can do without putting in the password? Sure doesn't look like it. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what E in all these equations refers to, but log base E of 1 minus voltage over E is equal to negative T over T. This is some kind of, well T usually, the lowercase t usually refers to time. It seems to be a tau down here, which is actually just um, pi over 2. So this is something about defining the cycle, I guess. So, yeah, I guess we'll give up on the anagram. Hello. Oh, hi. I better get going. Bye. So, yeah, I'm stumped on the anagram. That bugs me. Because I like anagrams. That one has too many common letters. It's too tricky. Can't check that off yet. Yep, you're right. You're so right. Um, so, let's just hang out in the lounge. Okay. Let's see, where'd the lounge go? Am I going to be able to find the lounge? Nope, that's Nico's office. Um, is this where the lounge is? Oh, no, that's the lab. Noted. Okay, good to know. Hey, I found the lab though, so that's kind of nice. I think we've done all we can do for this night. Um, so we await the dawn. Yeah, point and click games are better when you're good at discovering things. Ooh, we got a phone call. Hey there, Nancy Drew. Hi, Deirdre. Are you in Colorado by any chance? Yes. How did you know? And you gave him a good reference? Well, I told him the truth. That was very...
very nice of you. Was it? By the way, don't make a habit of it. Okay? Bye. Wait, hang on a sec. I might need some outside help with this case. <sighs> Did you forget that I don't like you? No, but I know you're studying criminology, and maybe someday I could help you out. Hmm, well, that was mean. Can I, like, call you back? If you're under 50, why are you leaving me a message instead of a text? Ulcers, do what you gotta do. Wow. Okay. Victor, what's up? you hire me and not a big investigation firm? The crew has been questioned a lot as you can imagine. Everyone's defenses are up. You can pull off the undercover work without drawing too much suspicion. I know it's a long shot, but I've heard good things. And I already tried to buy the book away, and that got me nowhere. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about Ellie? Okay. I mean, you're co-owner of the facility, but sure. Can you tell me anything about Gray? I don't know much about him. He was one of Nico's hires. Nico brought Gray on? Yes. I have no idea why. He's a head case. Watch yourself around him. Understand? Do you think Gray could have killed Nico? I don't know if he did, but I don't doubt he could have. Between you and me, if I didn't want him to hear to be Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about Nico? He was an amazing scientist. Years ahead of his time. How long have you worked together? Decades. Did you spend any time together outside of work? I don't know if there was much outside of work for Nico. So no. Hmm. I'd better get going. Oh, we got the Hardy Boys. Let's give them a chat. Nancy, Frank was just talking about you. Oh yeah? Is that so? Just recounting the time. So how are you? How's Colorado? Sciency. Awesome. Not bad. I want to catch you up on the case. Give us the deets. Joe, there's already a word that means what you're trying to say. <laughs> Wow. So, sorry, Nancy. Please go ahead. I was called in to solve a cold case murder. Whoa, a murder? I am flabber worried. Isn't that a little on the flabber worried? It might be. I wish we could be there to help. Where are you? We're on a submarine. Well, currently it's a boat, but intermittently it's a submarine. What are you doing on a submarine? It's sort of a long story, and we're still putting the pieces together. Not gonna lie, Nancy. Really? You're not going to tell me anything specific. Give me all these cliffhangers. And now ask me for more information when I'm trying to chat with you guys. Okay. Okay, here's the full scoop. Victor, the lab owner, called me in to help solve a cold case. I Why did he call you? Isn't this a job for the police? Well, that's the thing. The police hit a dead end and Nico, the researcher who was killed... All of his papers were put into evidence. And they stay in evidence until the case is closed, right? Exactly. Oh. What makes the paper so important? Apparently, Nico was very close to making his research public. The research was supposedly going to revolutionize the way power is created and delivered in this country. Well, the world, really. Victor wants the papers released before anyone else connects the dots. If it's such a big deal, how come he didn't go to some 
big private eye or something. Joe, probably because Nancy's got a very well-deserved <laughs> reputation of being the best there is. I'm sorry, Nancy, I didn't mean it that way. It just seems like a really big job. I thought the same thing, trust me. But he thinks because of my age, no one will suspect I'm undercover. I hope he's right. Oh, undercover. That makes sense. Cool. Keep us up to date. We'll do everything we can to help. All right. I just saw a really cool Tesla coil demo. You just said the one thing that could make me wish I wasn't on a submarine. <laughs> I agree. I've always wanted to see one up close. It was really impressive. They're definitely on the dangerous side. Not really. Well, they can be if they're wired up wrong, but overall they're pretty safe. Do you know much about Tesla coils? Are you kidding? I'm the biggest Nikola Tesla fan in the world. I think it might be a tie. I'll allow that. Okay, anything else I want to tell them? I didn't know you two were Tesla fans. Tesla was like a real life wizard. Well, his contributions to the scientific community are the most boring thing to talk about when it comes to Tesla rigs. He carried around an earthquake machine and built death rays. That stuff is probably blown out of proportion. You think? I will not have you in boring Tesla friends. He was one of the few scientists who truly valued crazy giant lightning storms. When he was bored, he and Mark Twain would take turns electrocuting themselves. I mean, come on! The flashy stuff is cool, Joe, but what really impresses me is how all of these seemingly crazy things he dreamed up are now being proven to be actually possible. Like wireless energy. Yeah, and harvesting energy from space and the Earth itself. Wait, is that what Nico was working on? I don't know all of the details exactly, but it seems like it. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> wow, way to jump to conclusions. Uh... I met Gray. What's his story? Mm. He doesn't seem like a people person. As person people, Frank and I disapprove. Keep an eye on him. Let's see. I met Ellie. The verdict? She's nice. A little quiet. Isn't that what the neighbors always say on the news after someone goes berserk? She seems <laughs> All right. I need help getting into the lab. There's got to be something in the building to help. A key card, maybe? Oh, maybe you can find a way to program your own. Huh. There's a thought. Goodbye. Bye. All right. So, let's go about our business. Um. Prevent oftening supplies kidnappings. Do not, I assume this says remove or move or something. Uh, I'd take it if I could. Oh, this is a nice soundtrack. Do, 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 Okay. Oh, what was this on the fridge? Can I not read that? All right, let's go explore the rest of the lab here. Um... First of all, I wonder, is that security agent still at his desk? Oh, he's locked in the office. That makes sense. Um, okay, let's go upstairs and see if there's anybody else to meet. It seems like a really underpopulated lab. Um, just given how fancy it is. Oh, okay. Cool. What's up, person? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm so sorry about that. Are we cool? What do you um, mean? Yes. Oh, okay. Good. I guess we're cool. I was really hoping you'd be the type not to freak out about something like that. Not that you shouldn't. It's reasonable to freak out after a near-death experience. Not that that was super near-death, but you know, closer than what you get walking through most doors. It's okay. I'm fine. Good. I had a whole argument prepared about labs, and the risks of working with machinery, and the importance of forgiveness. Do you want me to hit all the bullet points? Sure, why That's not? That's not necessary. <laughs> Are you sure? I practiced. No, I, I get it. I'm Ryan. Let's see. Well, how do we chat with Ryan here? What do you do, Ryan? What do you do at the lab? I'm so sorry, but I have to ask why you're here. Why are you here? 
I'm Nancy Drew. I'm here to do due diligence for a potential new owner. I'm sorry, I'm an adult, and there's nothing funny about what you just said. Whoa, wait, back to the information. We're getting a new owner? <laughs> Maybe, but first I need to ask some intrusive questions. Oh. Sorry. I've gotten enough of this, I really do, but it's my job. I've done worse things for my job. Like what? I build tools. They're not always used in a good way. What do you mean by that? I couldn't tell you about it if I wanted to. Confidentiality. Wow. Okay. So, let's see. Who do you think killed Nico? A little part of me thinks it's Gray. Why? I'm a little scared of him. Any reason? Any reason in particular? Oh, you know. His voice and general demeanor and his face and pretty much everything else about him. Those two had a strange relationship. They fought constantly. Not sure why. The part that was responsible for Nico's death is missing. Do you know where it went? No. Are you sure? You sound like you're not telling me something. I destroyed it. It's gone. Why destroy it? Because I made it! You know what? I need you to leave me alone right now. Go, please! Oh, okay. Cool. Well, I guess, yeah. That's kind of you to tell us. Let's see. Uh, anything else? Have we explored the lounge? That's done. We've explored the halls? Haven't done that. No, we've not. Meet everyone at the lab. Haven't done that. What are we missing? Who have we not met yet? Well, I guess there's the one guy we snooped on. That was, like, Mason. Um, probably need to meet him still. Hi! Wow. I'll let you go. You seem Later. really enthusiastic. Yes? I'll let you go. Okay, cool. So that's Ryan the Inventor. Or a mechanic, or whatever her role is here. Um, let's see. What are you doing? Uh, hello? Oh. It looks like I'm busy. That means I'm busy. Wow. What are you working on? It's immensely complicated. Get a postgrad in advanced math and electrical engineering, then I'll explain it to you. Okay. Put it in layman's terms. Fine. There's this shiny magic that lives <laughs> in the power lines, and it's dangerous and sly like a fox. And I'm using math to trick it into leaving the power lines without accidentally making everyone die. Oh. That sounds like you're working on the wireless transmission of electricity to me. If you want to put too fine a point on it, go ahead, stranger. Which brings me to my next point. Who am I? Please let the answer be something that justifies me kicking you out of my workspace. Really? I'm here on behalf of a new potential owner. Wrong. No, that's correct. No, I mean wrong answer for me. <laughs> that's the answer I wanted to hear. Wow. Um. Let's see. Do you know why Ryan would want to hurt Nico? The police already asked the same thing. Well, what did you tell them? I said if I were to have killed Nico, it'd be because he stole my work. Wow. Whoa, hold on. It's just a for instance. Is it? Yes, that's because I think logically. <laughs> I force myself <laughs> to think from A to B to C and so on. Ryan is all over the place. For her, it's A to Zucchini. To that thing from TV, to maybe C, then on to some non sequitur. I don't trust anyone I can't explain. Wow. Well, I guess you don't trust very many people then. Do you trust Gray? <laughs> um. Who do you see on an average day? Just me. Sometimes Ryan. You ask a lot of questions. Ever thought of being a scientist? Sometimes. Good answer. The world needs more people with questions, and fewer people who are sure they have the answers. 
Wow. Okay. Did you work directly with Nico? No one worked with Nico. We barely huh. spoke to each other. That's the way he liked it. He practically lived in the lab. If he wanted to look at my work, he'd just root around in my hard drive. So he'd come in here when you were gone? No, he'd use the network. He'd just sleep <laughs> in your files? That seems kind of annoying. Not kind of. Entirely. It's unethical, and it allowed him to steal. What are you talking about? That's not your computer. You're working for... Oh my goodness. Whatever. Not even going to argue with you. What do you remember about the day Nico died? More than I care to. I imagine. Did anything stick out? Yes. The police. It was weird. One of us killed Nico, and here they were, talking about a basketball game. Like it was any other day. Wow. Let's see. One of us killed Nico, and here they were talking about a basketball game, just like it was any other day. You said one of us. Why? Why not say someone? It's just an expression. It's not an expression I'm aware of. Don't be contrarian. It doesn't suit you. This is true. Yeah, you need to be at his level of logic to be able to... Um, Let's see. Do you like Ryan? Let me save you some time. I don't like anyone. Well, that's that pretty nice of, nice of you to tell us. Sir, and I'll demonstrate. Wow. Other people. <laughs> okay, that's cool. What do you think of Ellie? She hates me so much that she switched to the night shift. Oh. To think of it, she hates me so much I should actually feel a sense of accomplishment, which I now do. There it is. What did you do that she dislikes you so much? Why do you assume it was me? You never know if you don't ask. Yeah? Don't accuse, you mean. And honestly, I've got no clue. Oh, I guess you're right. Yeah, that is more of an accusation. I mean, you never... You said it. you want more people who think they don't know the answers and want to ask questions. Although that question was a bit of an accusation, to be fair. Um, What's so special about Tesla? If you have to ask that, you haven't done your research. <laughs> I mean, to you, what brought you here? The work. I turned down Los Alamos in a tenure-track position to be here. Well, that seems silly. Most people don't know this, but the majority of Tesla's work was confiscated by the FBI. Why? Could be he was designing weapons. Could be he had a breakthrough that threatened the energy magnates. Don't know. It's all been hidden. What matters is, there's a little bit still here. I always suspected Nico had some squirreled away, and I'd be able to find it. But either he didn't, or I couldn't. Wow. That's too bad. Um... Can you tell me a little bit about Gray? He always gets yeah, his desk is awesome. Portion of the, creeps. the only person who ever liked Gray was Nico. And I think he just liked keeping Gray around to scare everyone away from his work. Did he try to scare you away from Nico's work? No. He tried to scare me away from my own work. Whoa. What does that mean? He was Nico's heavy. I figured he'd leave once the police gave the all clear. Trust me. If he's still here, he's up to something. Your boss would be smart to get rid of him. Interesting that you divulge so much. And yet, if I start... I mean, you're willing to divulge a ton about other people, but not about yourself. And I guess that's completely natural. It's still just interesting. What was Nico working on before he died? There wasn't a name for it yet, officially. It was basically wireless energy transfer. That was helpful for you. So how about you tell me something about your boss? I'm sorry, I can't. Confidential. What are you doing? I want you to tell me what you know. But I can't tell if you're a pushover or not. Not. Ah, efficiency. One of the rare graces of a post-manner society. 
Oh, good. You mentioned Nico stealing your work. Can you prove that? No. You must be pretty upset about that. Say what you really want to say. Did the police know your feelings about Nico? What a peculiar question. Do you have a peculiar answer? I do, in fact, have a peculiar answer. I actually told the police the truth. Oh, good. More interesting question is how is Ryan still a free woman? Why shouldn't she be? In this case, the smoking gun is a miswired Tesla coil that she built. Uh, I mean, you were saying that you don't want people to act like they know all the answers, but, eh. Did you dislike Nico? Very much so. Would you go as far as to say you hated Nico? I would go that far and further. That guy was a jerk. Wow. That seems a little disrespectful considering... Does it? Am I supposed to pretend he's great now that he's dead? Lots of jerks have died, and he's one of them. Hmm. He's a dead, brilliant, jerk madman. The world would be much better off if he'd lived to share more of his intellect. But I selfishly am glad I'll never have to deal with him again. You're never supposed to speak in these terms, really. It seems strange to me that you could be so blasé about a murder. I deal with things on my own time. But if you are desperate to watch someone cry, Ellie's always available. Hmm. Okay, well, on that subject of crying... Did you see? I beat your high score. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. If fighting is sure to result in victory, then you must fight. Sun Tzu compels me to take you down. Prepare yourself, opponent. Okay. Oh, I get it. Fighting is sure to result in victory. Then you must fight. That's supposed to be in the context of um, uh, whether or not you do a fight, whether or not you um, elect for peace, or if you try to do something other than fighting to win over... Uh, or have victory over an opponent. Um, and in that context, he's, Sun Tzu says, like, fighting, you know, if that's going to work, you have to do it. Um, if, otherwise, other approaches might be better. Otherwise, if there's no way for you to win, just don't initiate the conflict. Anyway. You said you were searching for Nico's work. Did you ever look in Nico's personal things? Of course I looked. Wow. That's it? Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, so that office I almost stumbled into earlier was Ellie's office. Okay, we met everyone at the lab, right? Did that. Nice. Can't check that off yet. Let's see. Investigate Ryan. Still have to do that. We've already explored the halls, right? Still have to do that. Nope. Okay. Um. That's done. Nice. Can't check that off yet. Right. What else? Find something to open the locked lab. Explore the tech workshop. Well, yeah, we gotta go um, investigate Ryan and/or explore the tech workshop she works in. And yes, to your question. Um, the victim, um, shoot, I'm forgetting the victim's name, but uh, he died of electrocution. So one can only assume. Hi. Dude, wait, you were here like last night, right? I better get going. Or maybe I have to come Hi. back at night, but I thought this workshop was locked at night. Uh, is there anything I can take? There's a little sticker here. Man, this place is cool. you think someday somebody would invent a wrench. Well, I mean, the adjustable wrench exists, but... That's just crazy that you need an entire cabinet of wrenches.
Ips, I forget. Oh, they have the categories right here. Metals and non-metals. I believe the difference between metals and non-metals is their conductivity. Um, I could be completely wrong on that. But yeah, here you have uh, metals, like alkalis and alkalines. Um, and then here you have your noble gases, um, which um, are much more inert. These are much less inert, uh, if I remember right. I could have that backwards. But uh, these um, tend to be quite reactive, as do these in this column. But the noble gases at the far right are balanced um, they have all their p orbitals, s orbitals, and all that filled with electrons. So they tend not to react very much with other elements. Uh, let's see. Anything else here? Have we s explored the hallway yet? Did that. There we go. Apparently that's what I had to do. Oh, we can't get into there. Can't get into security officer's room. Let's see. Here's Nico's office. He's the victim and co-owner. Hmm. Yep, still can't buy any coffee candy. Um, man, that's cool. I need to find a way to fix this. So yeah, just to recap the case so far, uh, if I can remember the code. I think the code's in my journal. Oh, apparently I can... How far back does this scroll? 171943. Here's the case file for those just joining us. Uh, here's all the people in the office. The victim, Niko Jovic, uh, PhD 61 and co-owner of the facility, discovered... Uh, body discovered in the lab at 12.13 a.m., uh, removed by the coroner, cause of death's electrocution, um, victim's a genius, and uh, there's all kinds of safety features built into the equipment he was dealing with, so it's kind of suspicious that, you know, he would just die from this, um, given just he knows what he's doing and uh, there's safety features involved. Um, and just that he has allegedly poor social skills. So I guess that's what we, um, I mean, we have to take that as fact because he's not here to contradict it nor confirm it. So it's more useful to believe that that's the case um, than to doubt it. Um, those dust clamps could smash their way into the candy. Yeah, everybody has a motive because he... Uh, lacks social skills. Um, his personnel. Madison Quinto, research assistant. Um, the fellow we were just talking with who says he turned down a tenure track position elsewhere. Um, he doesn't like the victim and he's completely logical in his way of thinking. Uh, and so, yeah, he's willing to divulge to authorities that, you know, he just didn't like the victim. And um, if he were to do anything, it would be because um, Nico was stealing his work. But he couldn't uh, conclusively prove that. Uh, Ellie York, uh, research assistant, night shift. Uh, she's the one who called 911 to report the incident and left town the following evening. Ryan Kilpatrick stated that she was driving back to the lab from Colorado Springs at the time of death. Appeared distraught, evasive, and nervous during questioning. Purchased the, or I'm sorry, not purchased, not bought, but built. Built the machine that killed the victim. Yeah, so we talked with her, and indeed she confirmed that she um, does build things in the lab. And she destroyed the part that uh, killed the victim. Uh, great, Courtright, head of security, on site at time of death. And, I mean, we've met Gray. He seems, I don't know. Everybody's got motive. Everybody doesn't like everybody, basically. They're all really independent and don't talk with each other very much. 
uh, Victor Lawson. Uh, he's got an off-site office and claims that he was off-site at time of death. Um, so there's a security video identified in the case file and um, that uh, another key card was used to access the lab shortly before the incident. However, it doesn't match any key card in the logs. And likely what happened is just there was some glitch in the system due to all the electricity that was flying about. Um, the, case is often, the case remains open and unsolved. Um, yeah, Victor tells us, you know, it would be useful to get a hand on that research before anybody else uh, independently innovates and creates it and uh, devalues the work. So that's our motive for um, acting on Victor's behalf to investigate this case and help bring it to a swift resolution. Oh, we've got books, um, which apparently we can't click on. We've got a chair, which apparently we can't sit on. Um, I need to find a way to fix this. All right, so that is one cool painting. Yeah, I like that. And then there's another picture of Tesla. Not going to be able to get too far here without a key, I suppose. Although here we have some sort of transformer coil apparatus thing. That looks familiar somehow. Ooh, a button. Uh, I think I'm going to avoid the button. Unless I really, really am forced to. It's locked. You don't say. They locked the lab. Okay, I can't get into the security officer's room. Um, yeah, this is a crazy expensive office. And only a privileged few get to enjoy it. Like, look at this shelf. And look at all the wood in this, I mean, does anybody even use this kitchen lounge thing area? I just don't understand. And inside this entire facility, there's only like a handful of games and they're all in the, here in this one corner. Um... All right, so we want to explore the tech workshop, but we can't do that while Ryan's there. So let's set the alarm. Mm. And yeah, I just turned off the sky. So let's go back. Oh, phone call. Do we answer it? Oh, good. Is that so? It cannot be more so. I come bearing apologies. I want to help you, Nancy Drew. I want to be your girl on the inside of the exciting world of criminology. Why the sudden change of heart? Because apparently it still counts as plagiarism if you pay someone to write your paper. I mean, is capitalism dead? Because that's what it seems like. And you want to help me because... Huh. You, you help me collect data for my paper, and balance is restored to the universe. How exactly can you help me? I've got permission to use our criminal database. In fact, I already read up on the case. Oh, good. That could come in handy. All right, it's a deal. Great. Call when you need help, and I'll do what I can. Just don't call me when I'm busy. Will do. <laughs> okay. What do you know about surveillance video? That you watch it? Have you heard of cases where the video has been faked? Oh yeah, all the time. How can you tell if the video has been edited in some way? It's getting harder and harder to tell. But the number one thing you need to do is to make sure that you've got the original video feed. If you don't, analyzing the data file isn't going to do you much good. Is there a way to know if I have the original? on the case, right? I don't understand why Ryan was under so much scrutiny, but never sent to trial. From what I gathered, something didn't add up with the video and the timeline. Someone had to be in the lab with Nico. Hmm. 
Hmm. Can't you like forge anything to help figure this out or I don't know. I mean, if you got access to the database, um, is that just read access or is that write access? Yeah, what? What do you think of Ellie? What'd you say all these questions were for again? I'm gathering information for a potential new owner. Your questions say different. Say you're lying. I'm just very thorough. Then leave me alone. Thoroughly alone. What else now? <laughs> Who was here the night of the murder? I was. Who else? Ellie and... And who? The computers say someone, but the cameras say no one else. Huh. Nico walks in that door alone. Every time I watch the tape. How many times have you watched the footage? Jeez. Don't know. Lots. Why? It's my job. Well, yeah, that makes sense. He's the security officer. Um. <laughs> um. We're not going to ask the direct question. What he? What was his relationship with Nico? Because. I mean, that's kind of crazy. What do you think of Ryan? Hate her. Why? You're smart. Carry the sums. You'll get it. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, here you got a stickler for... Oh, wow. I... Is that the same or a very similar logo to what Google DeepMind used? Huh. I wonder what that's for, what it's supposed to represent, or if it's just arbitrary. Anywho... Um, yeah, I'm not going to ask him the direct question, because there's no point in asking that. You mentioned re-watching the video. Do you think something is hidden there? Not hidden. Missing. Oh. What's missing? It's not a what, it's a who. I don't understand. Who are you looking for? Nico's killer. So... Did Nico's work put him in any danger? You think? Yes. Energy is power. Ultimate power. Why would that put him in danger? People who want power will not hesitate to get what they want. Um, uh, okay. That's at least logical. It's a bit emotional there, but sure. What do you think of Mason? Don't like why not? I got my reasons. What are they? Secret. No, actually, I hate him because he's up to something. What? I have no idea. Hmm. For lack of trying. Okay. Uh, shoot. Well, I guess we have to ask, start asking direct questions. I'm not going to ask this because I'm just going to get kicked out if I ask it. But how about Why this? Why were you so concerned about what Mason was up to? He was messing with tech he didn't understand. I had to make sure he didn't do anything stupid. That makes sense. I mean, Mason decided to work here instead of at a tenure track position. So Mason's got some initiative, and I don't know. He tends to be pretty direct in the answers he gives. Um, but whatever. All right, we're gonna we're gonna venture this. What was your relationship with Nico? I knew him. Same as anyone else here. I don't buy that. Victor told me he was instrumental in getting you this job. Could be true. Strange world. Crazier things. <laughs> you and Nico were friends, weren't you? Friends? Yes. I guess that doesn't matter now, does it? I'd still like to know. <laughs> Fine. Then just give me a break. All right, champ? Fair enough. There was a time. 
When was that? Back when he was alive. <laughs> Okay, sure. Bye. Bye. All right. That's fair to say we've talked to them now, right? Oh, there's a Z and an R. This looks like the thing that was in the machine lab. Or whatever that engineering, not engineering, but the construction room was called. Um, Nico's office remains as vacant as always. I can't read any of the certificates on the wall. Let's see, what's to be done on our checklist? All right, I was going to go to the workshop. That's what it's called, a workshop. There's the elevator. I found it. Here we are. Up. Oh, they were lovers. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm just messing with you. Oh, come on. Maybe if I just keep banging on this enough. Alright, so what else can I do? Can't check that off yet. Um, snoop the security booth, snoop Ellie's workspace, Mason's workspace. Find the password for Mason's computer. Well, I guess we're going back to the office here. So now Ellie's in and... Oh, Nancy? What's up? Let's see. Who else was here the night Nico died? Gray. I think that's it. Hmm. Why do you and Mason work opposite schedules? I'm a night, Ellie. Any other reason? And as a good southern girl, I know if you don't have anything good to say... You keep it zipped, like this. Okay. Fair enough. How bad are relations between you and Mason? I wouldn't say they're bad. You might be the only one who wouldn't. They're not great. I get the impression that you two hate each other. My gram raised me to look for the good in everyone, even those who do me harm. Most times I find that glimmer of good, even in the meanest people. But Mason flashes <laughs> that smug smile of his, <laughs> and every rage center of my brain releases all of its hate Mason chemicals. Wow. Wish that weren't the truth, but it is. I also get the impression Mason doesn't like you very much. Now that is fortunate. If I had to deal with him puppy-dogging all around all the time, I'd never get anything done. I mean... Well, I like the fact that your desk is incredibly sloppy and Mason's is the exact opposite. And this is so well decorated and his is just like a brick. Uh, Did you know Nico well? No, but it wasn't for lack of trying. So you weren't friends? I don't know if he had friends. He wasn't well liked? No, it's not like that. I just don't think he needed people. Or if he did, then he hid it well. Hmm. He was too much of a scientist. I mean, there's also the dynamic that he's the boss, so I can understand why people wouldn't want to get too close to him, I guess. You said Nico was too much of a scientist. What did you mean by that? I'm organized in the way I think, but I... Okay, take Mason, for example. He lives his life the way I work. How so? In all of the ways. When he makes a sandwich, he alphabetizes the ingredients. He's not human. Not that he's... It's hard to explain. Like if a computer had legs and a sweater, it'd be Mason. What it comes down <laughs> to is, I'm 20%. Mason, maybe 60. Nico was 100% a scientist. Okay. Did Nico have a hard time with people? Not a hard time. Not exactly. It was like he was plugged into a different current than the rest of us. People were to be studied and observed, but that was all he wanted. Huh. At least I hope that's how it was. Was Nico close to anyone in the office? Did he talk to anyone? Don't think so, really. 
Yeah, I guess that Nico and Gray are secret lovers then. Bye. Goodbye, Nancy. And we, what else can we conclude? Do, 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 do. Need something else? I just want to check, can I go through Mason's desk one more time here? Yeah, apparently I can. Um, so that leaves us the anagram puzzle over here, which we had the letters for earlier, for those just joining us, the letters for that anagram. Um, should you feel so motivated to attempt it, are these letters. Uh, there's the ones in orange. Now... Um, I'm going to look around and see if I can find anything else. Um, oh, I forgot. I had this book on electronics. Um, so this is talking about what it takes to make a Tesla coil. I kind of slacked off and said I'll read this later. Um, it would not actually hurt for me to go through it now. So... Uh, so Tesla coil has these components, the primary coil and the secondary coil. The primary creates a main magnetic field that induces current in the secondary coil. The secondary coil generates a high voltage. So that's basically your transformer right there. The toroid, the part at the top, um, releases the electricity. We got a live demo of that. Uh, capacitors store energy while it's charging and the spark gap causes the capacitors to charge or discharge depending on the amount of voltage traveling across the gap. Um, I'm not sure I see the spark gap there, but that must be some way of affecting the thresholds um, that the toroid fires electricity at. Uh, to lower voltage stress, we replaced the old single capacitor with a multi-miniature capacitive matrix. The MMC will charge only when there is no other cap, or, was, or is that, yeah, it's cap, not gap, but cap of a similar color rating in the same row or column. Whoa, okay, that seems pretty intense. Uh, Ryan replaced the gap in the spark. Ryan replaced the part in the spark gap with one made to her modifications, which has been destroyed. Note for future tests, now coil won't run without the new part in place. I thought she said that the part in question had been destroyed and then she destroyed it. Um, so yeah, we have a Faraday cage which talks about how uh, to shield from electromagnetic fields, um, strike rings and lightning rods. As we all know, electricity favors the path of least resistance, which means strike rings or lightning rods can be used to attract the lightning um, streamers from the Tesla coil, which would otherwise be um, directed random directions, or seemingly random directions, just because we can't perceive where uh, the path of least resistance is. Doesn't mean it's necessarily random, but just means we can't explain it. Um, when placed in close proximity to the Tesla coil, the highly conductive metal rings and rods make a less resistant path uh, for electricity to follow. Yep. So we got circuits and circuitry. So we've got, I think these are capacitors. No, those aren't capacitors. Those are, what's that? Um, this part here. I forget what that is. So these are resistors. These go to power sources. This is a speaker. Uh, these are transistors that. Um, approach the speaker. This box here I would have assumed to be a battery, but it says this is an integrated circuit. I guess a battery has some kind of indicator on it saying that it's a battery. Um, other than there being an apostrophe after the fifth letter and a space after the sixth, I haven't found any other clues just yet. Uh, so the first six letters are one word, the last eight are a different word, and there's an apostrophe and presumably an S to follow. Interesting. Yeah, so this is our speaker. This is our transistors leading to the speaker. Um, is these, if I remember right, this is kind of like a, I would say that this would be kind of like a transistor radio sort. Um, we could use these two transistors to select the frequency. Um, 
I could be completely off. Um, I'm thinking like of a continuously variable transistor or whatever that's called. Something that's got multiple um, parts in it. But yeah, transistors used to amplify a signal um, or close a circuit, so that's not used for selection. Oh, no, I was thinking of a rheostat, which would be like a resistor that has ways you can adjust its resistance. Uh, transistors just amplify the signals so that go off the speaker. Um, I'm not sure what this is. I guess this is an integrated circuit. Uh, yeah, so this here lines up with that. Um, so... I'm not sure why this is hooked up the way it is. If this actually is a meaningful diagram, it seems kind of weird to me. Because um, it has a line that goes without any kind of resistance on it, which seems very strange. But I guess allows for amplification. Um, oh, this is just a, simply another transistor. Okay, that's the deal. So this can amplify the signal going in. And this has a direct line out as well as a line with resistance out. In fact, this seems like not a good thing in a circuit. So I'm deeply skeptical about this being a real schematic. Um, anything else in this? We know what switches are, uh, an inductor. Yeah, I'm surprised there's no inductor in this circuit. Maybe if I were playing on the harder mode, I'd get the actual really complicated circuit here. Uh, yeah, fuses are useful to uh, as safety devices to blow the circuit, or, um, to cut off the current when current would otherwise get to um, just run freely. And by blowing, it increases the resistance and keeps the current away. Um, so that your more expensive parts, like your integrated circuit, don't get fried. Um, get a capacitor, you store an electrical charge. Um, yeah, it's a pretty simple book. Considering it only has four pages. Let's see. But yeah, just to clarify, six letters with an apostrophe before the last letter. And then another word. Um, so, is there anything else I can explore here? I can't get into the workshop. Maybe I just need to wait for a phone call, or maybe I need to call somebody. Let's see. Settings. Oh, look, we got could choose like our wallpaper to be a tomb, a desktop. Ew. What else can we pick? Uh, I don't know about that. Haunted. Uh, that just doesn't look exciting. I kind of like the sparrow. Is there anything else I like better? Waverly. I don't get the reference, but that looks like one really nice place. Nice. <laughs> okay, we'll stay stick with that as our um Notification noise. You got no messages. How's it hanging, Deirdre? Hey there, Nancy Drew. Do, 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 do. I need you to check on 911 calls the night of the murder. Consider it done. I'll text you the results. Yeah, let's call Victor. Mason says Nico was stealing from him. Is this true? Oh man, I should go. 
<laughs> right. See? I, we're thinking on the same page here. Um, that was the point I was making earlier. Is like, this isn't Mason's computer, and Nico's totally at liberty um, to do whatever he wants with his equipment. Um, just my opinion. I mean, surely they signed some sort of legal contract, but it probably says something to that effect. Um, now, from a scientific point of view, I mean, you could call it unethical, you could call it just not mutually beneficial to allow snooping like that, but whatever. Um, you seem pretty sure Ryan's the one who killed Nico. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Like how we can call these people at any hour of the day. Oh, these guys will respond. Unless, like, they're on their submarine underwater. Hey, Nancy. Deirdre's decided to help me out. What's in it for her? A passing grade. Ah, oh, funny. <laughs> I mean, you have to pass the requirements for the course. I met the whole crew. Now the work begins. There are some intelligence guys here who owe us a favor. We'll see if anyone's got a path they're hiding. I met Mason. What's Mason like? Hmm. <laughs> a little into his work, but not bad. Mason and Ellie seem to hate each other. On a scale of one to stand off? They're on opposite shifts to avoid one another. Interesting. That might come in handy. Okay. Uh, just curious. How might that come in handy? Is there anything, like, that even remotely suggests that that would be useful information? Um. I met Ryan. So, what's his story? Her. Okay, hang on. <laughs> who made the part that malfunctioned and killed Nico. That's serious. Gosh. But if she wasn't arrested, there must be some doubt. Some, but Victor really thinks she might be the one. Does she seem like a cold-blooded killer? Uh, what do you guys think? Does she seem like a cold-blooded killer? Yes. Well, that's something. <laughs> Huh. Goodbye. See ya. They don't seem impressed by the fact that I think she's a cold-blooded killer. Okay. What's it take to impress these guys, I wonder? Also, um... What else on my checklist? I mean, we can't get into the tech workshop. I guess we really need to figure out the password, um to Mason's computer, because most of these things on the checklist we've gotten through. Explore the tech workshop, find a password, find something to open the locked lab. Um, snoop Mason's and Ellie's workspaces, snoop the security booth, power off the electric grid. <laughs> Let's see. Done. Oh, good. Right, because we were in that room much earlier, and uh, the electric grid was about to go haywire. So we got that taken care of. Um, what's someone LT? I don't know. Let's see. Suspects. Gray is a head of security. I bet there's a ton of useful information in his office. Ryan had an alibi for the night of the murder, but the police don't think the alibi was very strong. Oh, so interesting. Um, 
Well, I guess we... I don't like causing trouble, but we've got to snoop in Gray's lab. Either that or get access to Mason's computer, but it seems like both are equally challenging tasks at this time. So we'll take one of these at a time. Um, let's see. So, yeah, he's just doing what he does. Click, click, okay. But yeah, if we want to get access to his computer, I think this is what we got to do. Is there anything for us to notice here? Zap up. Charges remaining. Okay, let's try something. Oh, that didn't work. Um, I want to get out of here. like the fact that I did that. Slows leaves. Yeah, no, it's it's a hard algorithm or acronym. Um let's see, is there anything else we can do? No, uh, I think I need just need to wait for a phone call. Nope, that's not the lounge. Where's the lounge? Is it over here? Yep. Let's just take a break. One second. I do need um, to address one little thing on my end here. So, um, I'll leave you guys with this bit of reading. Uh, not that bit, but this bit. Or maybe this part. Yeah, how about that? Be back one second. Sorry about that.
Sorry about that. Sorry for the delay. Uh, I had discovered a piece of gum, of all things. I did not expect to find it here. Um, just had to clean that off. It was quite surprising. So, let's get back to our case. Oh, I bet we can dial Deb here. Or Deirdre. Bye. 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 Wow. You haven't you haven't made any progress with that, have you? How about you guys? You guys made any progress? Don't even think I asked them for any favors, but Bye. um Any word on the background of the crew here? Funny thing you ask. Yeah, sort of. Nico has a file, but it's classified. What? Surprisingly, so it is gray. But we don't know what's in there. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, I can't... I mean, come on. I better get going. Bye. Well, okay. Not telling anyone. Especially not telling this person. Hey there, Nancy Grail. Bye. Come on. Hey Alright. Um, how's it hanging, Victor? Do, do, do. Okay, fine. Apparently nobody wants to um, tell me anything. This case is totally on me. Let's see. Oh, Mason beat my score. He beat it by 500. That jerk. It's like he gave up an instant after I did. There was a clue to the puzzle you just played with the Schrodinger's cat, whiteboard. Huh. Alright, so how's it hanging? My buddy, my pal, my friend. Um Victor mentioned you were arrested the night Nico died. Yes, I was. What happened? It's not a night I like remembering. Okay, fine. I'm sorry it's unpleasant, Just kidding. but can you tell me what happened? They dropped me in a room and asked me a hundred times if I killed Nico. That must have been hard. The questions kept coming faster and faster until I had a hard time remembering what was even true anymore. Oh, wow. It was over. The older one drove me home, told me they'd be back the second they could prove it was me. Made it hard to sleep at night. What evidence did they have? They wouldn't say. It was like they were waiting for me to tell them why they thought I was guilty. Huh. I'm kind of wondering the same thing myself. I don't think you're telling me the full story. What do you want? Something. Do you have anything that can prove that you didn't kill him on purpose? No. Okay. Good to yeah. know. What happened on the night of the murder? Can you not say it like that, please? Okay, sorry, fine. What happened that night? I do really need to know. I know, you're right. He talked to me. More than once. I'm not sure I understand. You mean before or after he died? He talked to most people. I oh. Think he liked me. Or at least trusted me. Hmm. You still haven't told me about what happened that night. We lost one of science's brightest minds for a stupid reason I don't understand. That's all I can say. <sighs> okay. Can you tell me about what happened with the equipment you built for Nico? It worked exactly as it was supposed to. Tesla coils are not supposed to be wired like the one you built for Nico. It's extremely dangerous. You don't have to tell me that. I know. I knew. He told me that's what he wanted. Uh. I don't understand why he would want you to build something so deadly. I didn't either. He said he was going to do it with or without me. I just figured that if I did what he wanted perfectly, it'd be better than if he got help from somebody else. In the end, your machine is what killed him. No. Yes, but... Hmm. But what? I didn't... I would never hurt anyone. Especially not Nico. Why? What made him special? Because... He was brilliant. 
he could look at a blueprint and know the finished product's personality. Hmm. And he had no one in the world looking after it. Okay. I guess that makes some degree of sense. Although, I guess what you're saying is that she has a better um, skill with tools than other people at this facility. That he himself might not be the most qualified to work with tools, because if he, if he knew what he wanted, and if he were the most skilled craftsman to build it, he would have built it himself. He wouldn't have asked for this sort of favor. I mean, yeah, that's definitely a possibility here. Um, although, again, if that were the case, and he weren't the most capable person, you'd think he would have built it himself and not asked for the favor. But it's definitely up there. Um, more sounds like he was building this weapon, and we don't know why. I'll let you go. Bye. Oh, is there anything else in here? And let's check that out. Is this your motorcycle? It's a sweet ride! <laughs> but it's not done yet. Oh. But I'm working on it. Come on. I see, like, three parts down here. I mean, that's like a severe act of laziness to not put these... Okay, whatever. Um, so, we've examined Ryan's background, right? We've investigated Ryan. Have it done that? No? No, we, I mean, we've talked with Ryan. We've talked with everybody else about Ryan. We've talked with Victor about Ryan. I guess we haven't gotten on our phone. Let's do this right in the room with Ryan behind us. They ask, hey, what'd you find out? What's up? <laughs> this is a great time to tell. Ryan told me she was interviewed by the police and that she still considered the prime suspect. <laughs> okay. Is that common in murder investigations? It can be. The police have to be fairly certain before they can charge her. <laughs> but I'll let Ryan know. I mean, oh, that's bad. Goodbye. Bye. Which is bad for Ryan. Um. How's it going, guys? Got anything confidential you can tell me here? Hi. Bye. Apparently Nancy's not in a talking mood either. Um, but can I ask Ryan about her motorcycle now? Hi. Oh, I guess not. I'll let you go. Bye. Anything else I can touch here? Um. Do 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 do. Oh, I found a thing. Colors. And I look at said colors? Apparently not. But they're probably like resistant colors or... I don't know. Apparently I just cannot look at the colors. Oh well. Um, hmm. So what now? What now, he says. All oh, right, this. At least to be energy efficient. I forgot that now it's daytime. I can read this. One, replace standard light bulbs with compact fluorescence. Two, stop the electric vampires. Unplug electronics when they're not in use. And dry your clothes the old-fashioned ways. Um, use a programmable thermostat. Keep it clean. 
Replace coating, cooling, and heating system uh, filters yearly. Know what you want before you open the fridge. How are you supposed to know? If you don't have, like, object permanence and know everything that's in there, how do you know what you want? I mean, you could even open it up, take a peek, look in there, close it, and then think about, which of all the things that I just saw do I want? Because, I mean, that's just one more thing. If you're spending your time and your effort and memory remembering what it is that's in the fridge, and it's a shared fridge, by the way, so not everything you put in there is still going to be there by the time you open it. Um, but all that energy and effort you put into remembering that means that's that energy and effort you do, um, you have less for, for what you're actually supposed to be doing, which is presumably to something to save the world or make the world more energy efficient and stuff, but okay. Number seven, uh, turn the lights off when you leave the room. This has been a zero, 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 zero out of zero announcement, right? Because you see the binary clock, this is 15, this is one, so this has been a zero out of zero announcement, I guess. I don't get it. I do not get that clue, if it is a clue. Whoa, hang on. Earlier, I thought that thing right behind me, this thing, I don't get a really good angle of it most of the time, but I thought this was a door. Is this not a door that's fallen off its hinges? I mean, it very much looks like a door that could potentially lead to somewhere, but the game's telling me just don't even try to go that way. There are only ten types of people who understand that meaning. No oh, good. And then tend to meet the other nine types of people that understand it. Uh, so we're here during the daytime, meaning we hey. get to meet with Ma Mason again. Who was here the night of the murder? Not me. <laughs> you know, no follow-ups. <laughs> Where were you? Uh. Out on a date. Did the police follow up with her? Yes, proving that she does, in fact, pick up her phone on occasion. Ooh. And you don't know anything else about what happened that night? Nope. The police did all that work, though. Check the nanny cams, too. Nanny cams? Security cams. Raise eye in the sky. But if he saw something, he isn't saying anything. I'm sure he has his reasons. I'm just messing with you. Um. Ryan said that Nico would talk to her. Does that seem true to you? <laughs> no. The two of them hanging out? Hmm. Can't picture it. Huh. Okay. I'll let you go. Goodbye. What are you doing? Just snooping in Ellie's office. What are you doing? Fine. I guess we can't snoop. As fun as that would be to do. Hmm. Well, so what else? Um, yes, yeah, so that actually looks like a door here. Am I mistaken? This here definitely looks like a door. Don't know if we're going to be able to get in there. Um, wait, can I admire this thing in the middle of the room? Apparently not. Um, oh, right. I forgot. This is the workshop. Um... Is there anybody you have to talk with? I'm just going to say all these things in the middle of an open hallway so hey, everybody hi. can hear. I better get going. Bye. Okay. Yeah, I don't think these people are going to tell me very much anyhow. Oh, I forgot I could expand this list so I could see it all really easily. Power on Gray's computer. Oh, I failed at that. Explore the tech workshop, find something to open the locked lab, find the password, Snoop Mason's workspace, the security booth, investigate the login regularity. Can't check that off yet. Fine. Alright, so apparently we got a power on Gray's computer somehow. Which I think means we'll have to do that at night. 
and this time Nock gets spooked by the fact that um, we hear footsteps while we're trying to um, look at um, Gray's computer. I mean, I'm sure Gray's already made pretty clear he doesn't appreciate us um, just being here in general and asked us to leave, but... Um, yeah, let's see if we can manage to, um, you know, snoop our way into the security office. Which is definitely more than would ever be asked for um, by a new buyer. A new buyer would not ask me to do this sort of thing. Okay. Let's see, how do we do this? Can I... Oh, I get it. Nice. Okay, so I could touch one of these. Or one of these, rather. And I could touch one of these. And one of these. Oh, I failed. How about this? No, that was wrong. Let's try this. Uh, and then this. Um, then one of those. This is not looking good. I did better when I was hitting random buttons. Let's see. Um, how about this one? And then maybe this? That's not too shabby. Two charges remaining. I think we might have this. Nice. That's done. Okay. Um. Okay. I need to get all of the numbers shown clockwise on the wheel using their binary code. Woo! Okay, well, let's, um, there's our three and our four. We need one of those somewhere. Uh, we need that number represented somewhere. We need this. And am I missing anything? Four reds. Um, this is pretty close. Maybe this one? Oh, no, we need three blues in a row somewhere represented as well. How about three blues here, and then two blues somewhere? No, no that's wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, we already have three. So we need three red, two blue, three red, and a blue. Oh, now we're missing four. Hmm. Well, obviously we need four blues somewhere. Um, not so sure about the rest of this. We need four red somewhere. Okay. Oh, we're missing alternating red and blue. Um, which definitely needs to be a thing somewhere. Maybe here? And then have four red in a row, and then this here somewhere? But now we need two blue in a row somewhere. Um... Hmm. <laughs> we seem to be struggling with this one. 
three reds, three blues, two reds, two blues, one red, one blue. That would have been too easy. Three reds, three blues, but we've already got three blues elsewhere. I need an alternating blue and a red somewhere. There, let's do it like this. I think I think Gray's gonna kick us out. I'm really scared he's gonna walk in any moment, to be honest. But what can you do? We're just doing due diligence for the next owner. Um, oh, now we're missing four reds. Um, put four reds there, maybe? Now we're missing red, blue... Yeah, we're missing uh, blue, red, red, blue. Huh. I'm not sure how to do this binary thing. It's a cool puzzle. I appreciate it. Um, so we've got four in a row, three in a row, and two in a row here. Maybe I should take a look at what we're missing. Blue, red, red, blue is missing. Uh, we're missing two blues in a row, with, surrounded by two reds. Um, let's see, we're missing... Blue, red, blue, blue, which we could do this way. Um, and then we could put a blue there. Now we're missing alternating colors, like this. Okay, that's what I get for actually reading things. These must be the key cards used to access the lab. I should figure out which number belongs to whom. Should... Yep, yeah, sounds like a good idea to remember. There's got to be a more efficient way to do this. Take photo. Yep. can deal with figuring this out later. That number is from the night of the murder. It doesn't appear anywhere else in the log. You don't say. Okay. How do we exit back to the system menu? Or do we not? Oh, okay. Security, no video loaded. I think I don't want to touch anything more for now. Because really, I am spooked by the possibility of um, getting caught there. So let's just hang out here. Oh, door's closed. Can we take a seat? Nope, we're just going to solve this standing up. Um... Yep, we got access to Gray's computer. Um, let's see. Find the password for Mason's computer. Nope. Snoop the security booth. Still have to do that. Okay, we've not viewed the security video. Did that. Yep. We got all the logins. Uh, we have confirmed that that one login from the night of the murder wasn't anywhere else in the access logs. Um, Can't check that off yet. So, yeah, apparently the game is telling me i got to go back. I'm really concerned about the possibility of a security guy getting... Oh, hey, how's it hanging? Do you, want? Do you blame Ryan for what happened to Nico? Yes. Do you think she tampered with the machine on purpose? Am I supposed to feel better if it's an accident? <laughs> Fair point. The log says that one additional person entered the lab the night Nico died. I know. The question is, how do you know? Right. The police report. What I don't understand is why the police didn't follow up on it. They did. 
said it was a glitch. Do you believe that? What's it matter what I believe? Really? It matters what they believe. Oh. Well, okay. You can leave it at that. I'll let you go. Bye. Yep, we've definitely followed up on that point. Well, I guess now we gotta view the video, because the game's telling us that's one of the things on our task list. Uh, okay. Oh, we've already got this, so we got access. Um, let's see. And, yeah, let's take a look at the video by ID. Um, what's the ID of this video? Here we are. L. P. T. Y. 510. 258. So that appears to be victim entering the lab and nothing happening. And there goes the victim. Just Nico. Hmm. Okay, can I get out of here, please? Let's go back to the lounge. Okay, that was a bit dramatic for my uh, liking, but hey, we got to look at the video. Check. So, snoop the security booth. Still have to do that. Can't check that off. Can't check that. Can't check. Haven't. Still have to do that. All right. So we still need to get access to a ton of things. Um, let's go beat Mason's score though, just to calm down a little bit from that excitement. Plus, I mean, Aggregation's a good game. It gets a bad rap. Um, huh. Well, this isn't so good now, is it? My bad. Oh my goodness, I'm playing poorly. Here, let's start over. And not fail so badly this time. So, being successful at this game involves some degree of planning ahead. Um, so, the one I fire next is going to have another green behind it. And going to have another green behind it. Um, kind of forced to do it that way, now, aren't I? Oh, also getting lucky is a good thing. Um... So purples are nice. Yeah, let's get a purple out here. Oh, there's another purple. Um, oh, well, that's not very useful now, is it? Okay, can fire purple out this way. Uh, next one is going to be orange. That can't be helped now, can it? Um, yeah, getting lucky is definitely a good thing. Okay, now things get serious. Next one fired is yellow. So I'd like to fire from either right or from the bottom. Uh, in this case, I'm actually going to get rid of this purple here. So I can fire the yellow this way and the orange that way. Um, okay, and now... Yeah, we can line up our blues. Oh, nice. Yep, getting lucky. That's what I do. Man, how is Mason so bad at this game? I just. Um, okay, so green is coming up next. So we want to hold the green here. Oh. I could have looked a little bit further ahead there, couldn't I? Okay, well, 
Um, next is wild. But yeah, I would like to get one of these yellows to stick in the middle. Oh, why stay with the middle, though? This seems equally good. Nice. And then we have a green, and a green, and a blue, and a blue, and an orange, and an orange. Nice! New high score. I'm sure Mason approves. Take that, Mason. Okay, that was a good exercise. Um, just doing mechanical things like that, like that game, aggregation, or like Tetris, can help uh, just get your logical side going and help release nerves and tension. Still can't get into the workshop. Um, shall we snoop? Okay, so how's it oh, hanging? Nancy? Oh, Nancy. Oh. Bye. Goodbye, Nancy. Got nothing to tell me, huh? That how it is. All right. I guess I do need to figure this out now, don't I? So yeah, we did have some guesses as to what the anagram was. Uh, I still haven't figured it out, but it sounds like to make further progress. That's the sort of thing I need to do. Um, well, one thing that I can note about this game, well, I think I still have this in my, yeah, I have it in my clipboard, so that's good. Um, so, one thing you note know about this game is that um, again and again and again, they bring up the character Nikola Tesla. And so, if I take the letters Tesla, in fact, those letters are in that if i take those letters out t-e-s-l-a that leaves me with e-h-m-n-o-o-s-t-w right that's nine letters tesla how do i thought i copied that correctly i removed an e and l s and a and a t I still have too many letters here, but that's what I'm looking at now. Um, so apparently I got the letters wrong to begin with, which made the puzzle a little bit more intimidating now, didn't it? We got E-E-O-M-A. Let me try this again. E-E-O-M-A-N-W-T. Uh... O L S S T H. Now, if I put that in alphabetical order, that's A E E H L M N O O S S T T W. Yeah, now that matches what I had earlier. I thought I counted six and eight here, did I not? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And yet, when I take the... Oh, I need to take both S's out if I'm going to make the one word Teslas. E-H-M-N-O-O-T-W is what remains then. Can I make anything out of that? Teslas something. Um, I see the word home in there. Home could be a good prefix, could be a good suffix. Um, oh, I see the word town in there. Tesla's hometown. Okay, that wasn't so bad. But to figure that one out, I mean, his hometown, would that be where his parents were from? Um... If so, then we read about that earlier. That was one of the first things we did while um, while we had the power outage or while all the alarms were going off in the entire facility. I was calmly reading through um, files about how awesome Tesla was. Um, and I don't remember what his hometown was. 
and I did not pick up the book because apparently, although Nancy picks up tons of other things, uh, she did not pick up this book. So, so you could argue that uh, his hometown was Smiljin. Um, or could you argue that his hometown was where he lived in New York? Okay, so yeah, you're arguing that what we're saying here, Smilgen, was actually what they mean by his hometown. As opposed to where he actually lived for most of his life. Um, I guess that makes some degree of sense. So let's, let's go with it. Also, I mean, I don't know. If, this, if you were to bring this game forward into the modern era, you would have a secure password. Um, just saying. Your chief of security would not allow passwords to be that insecure. But okay. We got it, guys. Thanks. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Clear design, print design. All right. Um, okay. Um, okay. Anything of interest here? Created by Mason. Action view. Personnel. Nico. Um, okay. Anything of note here? What was the night of the murder? Does anybody remember? I mean, you'd think I would have a date on file. Do we not know what day the murder occurred? If we don't, that's totally my fa fault for not remembering it and not taking a picture of the case file. Um, yeah, I want to view photos. So, yeah, I think it was 1025. <laughs> Set this is my wallpaper. Man, that would be unwise. File name, capacitor adjustments. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure what's meant by any of that, but. Uh, component craze. How fast can you make the matches? Sure. Oh. Well, damn. I thought that was going to be a memory game. It's a different sort of memory game than I thought it was going to be. Here's our speaker. Integrated circuit switch. Resistor. Transistor. That's not a transistor. That's a fuse. Diode, inductor, inductor, diode, switch, resistor, that's a transistor, IC, um, a fuse, IC, transistor, switch, resistor. Okay. Oh, man. We're going to have to try again, guys. And this time I actually know what I'm doing. At least in terms of this is a game. Um, wait, is this a transistor? That's a diode. It's not a fuse. Uh, it's a transistor, IC, inductor, battery, switch, speaker. Inductor. That's not it. There it is. I see it's not there. It's over here. Diode. Capacitor. Oh man. 40 seconds. Nice. Well, we beat 45 seconds, so that's pretty cool.
Um, oh, there's an item in the trash van. Ryan should never have been released. Better follow up on this. What? What the heck? Um, okay, sure. I'll make that my background picture. You know, just because I can. Um, hmm. All right. So, what now? Investigate Ryan, snoop the workspace. We've done this, right? Haven't done that. We've not snooped Mason's workspace. Okay, what have I forgotten? I mean, touching all... Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. That's funny that such a little note would be noticeable. Um, I guess I'll take a picture of this, because why not? I don't see the value in it, but sure. Um, let's go back. Um, as, I mean, as far as I know, I'm not asked to design anything, right? What else could I possibly have to snoop here? Is that a book? Okay, biometrics, an introduction. Biometrics is a security method that uses unique personal tra physical traits to act as keys or passwords. Iris and retina scans, voice recognition, facial shape, and fingerprints are commonly used biometric indicators. Fingerprint biometrics is gaining prevalence as an additional security measure in many industries as a replacement for traditional tra uh, door locks. Instead of using a key or a pass card, the user places their finger on a scanner, which captures their fingerprint. The scan is then running against the user database, and a match is found, the lock is released. While fingerprint biometrics is generally more secure than a key or password, it can be bypassed by using a copy of the fingerprint registered in the database. Once you have the copy, the next step is to create a fake finger to use on the scanner. To make a fake finger, you'll need to create an etching of the fingerprint sample to use as a mold. Once the mold is prepared, gel kit can be melted down and poured over the mold. Um, <laughs> Sheet gelatin for cooking and gummy candies are the two most commonly available sources. The resulting gummy fingerprint will fool many security scanners or fingerprint scanners. Okay, cool. Good to know. Yeah, no, I, I don't feel like doing that. To be honest. I, I kind of respect his space. Is there anything else for me to look at? I don't think so. All right, now can we say that we snooped his workspace? Did that. Thank you. Still have to do that. Yep, that's still my to-do list. Hello. I better get going. Bye. Okay. Uh, nothing to snoop here. I like this little space they got. There's nothing to... Oh, I already picked up the book that was over there. I was going to say, why is there nothing for me to touch here? Okay. Um, so, I think... Oh, I did look at everything in Gray's room, didn't I? Um, oh, we need to call people now, I bet. Still have to do that. So... How's it hanging, Deirdre? My friend, my buddy, my pal? What's up? I'd better get going. Hang it up. Come on, you guys owe me. Tell me stuff. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Later. Victor here. I'll let you go. Talk to you later. Okay, cool. Uh, they don't want to talk. They have nothing to tell me. Apparently, I have nothing to tell them. Um, let's see. Uh, I can't get into the workshop as it stands right now. Um, and while I can use Mason's computer to manufacture things, 
right now I don't have any plans for any specific thing to be manufactured. Um, let's see. What do you want? I better get going. Bye. How's it going, button pusher? How's it going? Oh, actually, are there things in the store here? Can I, like, grab... Well, apparently, I can't grab any of those things. Um... Let's see. Go to the video suite and watch the video file referenced in the trash folder. Oh! I need to find a way to fix this. That's right. I was thinking that was some kind of ID marker. I didn't realize that that was actually a video marker. Uh, this is the, the video file referenced on Mason's computer. Oh, nice. I actually have it here so that my picture was unnecessary. So, yeah, I need to take a look at whatever it was. Whatever it is that shouldn't have been released. Okay, our number was H L I H L L W five ten two five seven. Ooh. Holy moly. Oh, they said Ryan. He's bypassing the security system. Interesting. Wait, what? How do you gain that from that viewing of it? Oh, because the security scanner is over here, and yet there's still a way into the lab. Mason says that that should never have been released. I mean, it's damaging. F that doesn't sound good. Ellie might want to know about this. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's get over here. And now that we're back in our comfy home of sorts, I can't even seal the door or anything, but, you know, this will work as a place from which we can make a call. Oh, I'm sorry, we don't call Ellie. Ellie works upstairs. Um, guess we gotta go upstairs then. Okay, uh, Ellie doesn't work in the workshop. Ellie works over in this office. Also, I should mark this task uh, checked off here. So we've Check. looked at the video. Uh, find something else to open the locked lab. Inquire after lab humming near the lab. Huh. Okay. Hi. Is the hall just outside the lab supposed to hum? Nope. <laughs> Did that. It's our opportunity to snoop. These could be useful. Okay. Sure, I'll take whatever that was. It's an adventure game. Take everything. Cheer cap. Cheer up, capital E. It can't be that bad. Okay, it can be that bad. I've been to Colorado, but on the bright side, I've sent you a letter. See, you're just holding it right now. Guess who got her license? The answer's me. Madre and Padre were quite proud of their accomplishment and slightly less proud when I got into an accident 30 minutes later. For 30 minutes, I had a perfect driving record. It was glorious. How is your super secret deal going? Also, can you please get a job where you don't have to always talk in secret code about everything? I know if you don't want to talk about all this, but I'm desperate to know if whatever it is is going to pan out. I look forward to the day I could say, and this is my fabulously wealthy yet brilliant and humble cousin Ellie. I have to get going. 
I have one more thing to say. Those jokers in Colorado don't know what they're missing. I'm sorry that's giving that state's giving you a case of square peg syndrome, but it's not you, it's them. Anytime you get tired of life out there, you come home. I'll be waiting for you like you never skipped a beat. I'm gonna fi high five Rachel. Uh, okay. Well, whoever Rachel is seems like a nice person. Unless they're an accomplice to murder. All right. Ah, King Arthur's Court. Fantastic. Oops, I'm trying not to click on that. Oh, apparently I have to click down in order to get out of any kind of menu. Well, that looks cool. I wonder who that is. Is that Rachel? Why are they always called Rachel? Computer code. Okay, that's pretty lame. Um, sure. Overlays, sounds, nav logic. Oh, hey, look, we got a phone call. Or not a phone call, we got a message. Man, that harp noise is cool. Um, I don't think I found anything too interesting just yet. Haven't done that. Okay. Still have something left to track here. Um, is there a drawer we can open? I can't see the drawer, therefore I cannot open it. Um... See, is there anything else I can click on other than King Arthur's Court? Okay, fine. Oh, check this out. Well, I guess I need to take a picture because I'm not going to remember this. Let's zoom out. You never know whether it's what's relevant and what's not. Each set equal to 15. Wait, is that a magic square? That looks like a magic square to me. Because I've seen the numbers 1 through 9, and if you know, in a magic square, 1 and 9 and 5 make 15. So, that looks like a magic square to me. Um, have we now successfully snooped? Haven't done that. No, there's still more to snoop. Um, I mean, what else could there be? How great would it be if you could straighten this workspace and make things... Um, oh, cool. Take one of those. Reminder hints to this month's passcode for the control booth. The red shape... Okay, I'm not going to remember this either. Let's zoom out. Take a photo. Also, how great is it that the phone makes camera noises? The red shape is pressed neither first nor last. The green shape is pressed immediately after the diamond. The yellow shape is pressed last. The blue shape is a star. The purple shape isn't pressed first. The square isn't red. The purple shape, diamond, and circle are pressed in order. The triangle is pressed second. The circle is pressed before the yellow shape. Okay. Hmm. Well, we do know triangle. Wait. The control booth. Um, okay, we're going to try to get access to the control booth at some point. I don't know what to expect there. Alright, have we now successfully snooped? Still have to do that. Are you kidding me? What could there possibly be in this place that I have not snooped, taken, stolen, whatever you want to say? Um, I mean, there's food. Uh, let's check the drawer. Well, apparently, I can't do anything more with that drawer. Um, anything else to discover here? I guess I don't have to click on this, nor do I have to remove it. Maybe the game wants me to take a picture of this. 
So we shall, so we shall. Oh, we can only retain 12 photos. Well, good to know that we took a picture of something so important. Um, ha! That's great how the code does uh, folding inside the integrated development environment, the, the IDE. So it just shows like dot 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 instead of showing tons of code. Surprisingly, there's nothing up here to click either. Um, is there nothing I can do here? I apparently, to, uh, still have to do that. I don't get it. I guess I'll have to come back and snoop some more at some point. We already snooped Mason's um, desk, so let's see. Anything else? Oh, we got the key to the tech workshop, so let's go explore. Whoops. Not that way. This way. Bin key. Bin key. Oh, I took a picture of the shapes thing. Um, but I've already got that. Bin key. What is this bin? Um, I don't see a bin here. I don't see a bin here either. <sighs> I guess I need to wait until the tech workshop's opened or something. I don't get it. I don't see a bin. Well, wait. Can we enter the workshop? Nope. Um. Alright, here we go. Let's go back down. Oh, I forgot to check. We have a message. Let's go back to our home away from home. Not the lab, because for the lab we need a pass card. Um, but over here. Um, let's check our message. Guess who waited 30 minutes before calling in the accident, according to time and death reports? Ellie. That's who. I wonder what she was doing. Probably covering her murderous tracks. I mean, who does that? Uh, stylishly late. Does not apply to 911 calls. And before you ask, that's all I know. Well, I'm going to ask, what else do you know? Because you said, before I ask, that's all Goodbye. I know. Um, so I had to ask. Otherwise, that wouldn't be before I ask. Hi. It would be before I consider asking. Goodbye. Later. So, yeah, I had to ask. Although, I guess technically, I called to ask and I didn't even bother to ask. Nancy, hi. I better get going. Hmm. Oh, wait. There's one thing. There's Nico's office, right? Where's Nico's office again? It was I could have sworn it was on the first floor, but maybe it maybe I'm completely mistaken. Now here we are. Here's a thing that requires a key. I mean, could this possibly be it? Nope. Could this require a key? Hmm. Nope. Okay. Could this? I don't know. Maybe? 
Is there even a place to put a key in here? Nope. We've already figured out how to open that. Um, find something to open. The locked lab. Can't check that off yet. Yeah, I wonder. There's like a control room somewhere, right? Oh, duh. Just because I can't enter the lab doesn't necessarily mean I can't enter the control room. Um, where'd the control room be? This is the main lab. I'm not seeking entrance there because that requires, um, requires a key card. Yeah, no, that could well be. I can't, I still don't know how to open that, or rather how to even get said gummies. But yeah, that would make sense. Um, wait, can I not, what good is this bin key? Can I use this on that? Nope. Yeah, I'm confused what the value of this key is. Oh, here's some things. Arguably could be called bins. Um, um, apparently not. Nothing to check out here either. Is there a bin in Ryan's? Yeah, that's where I was going next. And to get there, I have to um, stay the night. So that's what we're doing. I just thought before I elected to stay the night, I'd check, take one last look around. And see if there was anything that really stood out. Oops, not here. So we're staying the night again. Right. Tis morning. Footsteps. Who's there? Footsteps. Hello. Hey there, Nancy Drew. I'll let you go. Well, that doesn't sound good. I wonder who that could be. Footsteps. Oh dear. <clears throat> A little privacy, please. Oh, fine, if you insist. That sounds like you do. I was just going to wash my hands, but... Okay, um, what else? Huh, <laughs> I need to tell Mason I be to score, or otherwise he won't come back and be it. He might be obsessive, but, um, he's not that obsessive, I suppose. Which is good to know. <laughs> Bang head here, repeat as necessary. <laughs> good to know. Um, let's go to the tech workshop. <whistles> Holy moly, what was that? What's happening? Are you okay? I'll never be okay again. Jeez. What is that thing? An abomination of technology. It's some creepy robotic cat that someone, I suspect me, 
Mason is tormenting me by leaving all of its awful parts everywhere. I've seen one of those huh. before. If I find all of the pieces, I bet I can put it together. As long as you promise to throw it into a fiery volcano once it's completed. That thing is the undisputed mayor of Nightmare Town. Okay. Sure. That seemed that okay. You sure. snuck in without logging in the day before the murder. Why? I I lost my keys. It happens. Isn't this place extremely well secured? The labs are. Building I have my tricks. And no, I'm not sharing. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I'll let you go. Later. Well, that's special. Is there anything that could be considered a bin? Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. Later. Thought you were gonna give me the parts to something. Apparently not. I don't feel like leaving just yet. Apparently I can't get a view of the motorcycle. It used to be right here somewhere. There's nothing for me to do there. Is it okay if I rebuild your motorcycle? Hi. I better get going. Later. Apparently there's not a bin here cuz I would have found it if there were one. Um I'm clicking on all the things, and nothing seems to use a key. Um, that's too bad. Yes? Have you been tormenting Ryan with a robot cat? I'd never do something that hilarious and definitely deserved. Never. <laughs> Not ever. Oh, good to know. Don't you think you should maybe stop? She seemed to hate it. Mm, no, I will not stop. I asked her nicely to build it for me. I even offered to pay her for her time. She's the one who hit it, so I don't even feel a little bad. Well, okay. I beat your high score again. Yes, yes, you're great. Go away. I better get going. Goodbye. What are you doing? Just kidding. Okay. Well, where else can we go? Can't check that off yet. We have not explored the tech workshop. I don't know, maybe we need to talk with Ellie again. Because, I mean, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot to be explored in here, right? Or am I missing something? I can click on all the things, and yet nothing happens hmm. here. Hmm. Oh, we've got electronics. No, that's the book. We've got evidence. This thing that was used to fasten things in place. We've got capacitors. Can I offer items to an NPC? Here's some capacitors. Apparently not. Mason says he was tormenting you with a cat because you hid it. Is that true? It was self-defense. Fuzzy little freak doll had it coming. <laughs> I'll let you go. Apparently, Bye. I'm resolving this conflict between co-workers. All right, uh, Ryan says that Fuzzy Little Freak had it coming. What do you have to say, Mason? Yes. Oh. Goodbye. See you later. Apparently you have no response. Never mind.
Okay. Fine. Um, uh, we'll get back with these guys later. We haven't talked to Gray in a while, so let's see if he... Oh, or he's not there during the day. Um, and, yeah, even though this is a better lit office during the day than during the night, uh, I still don't see anything. Key still doesn't work during the day. Uh, nothing to click on here. All right. Um, still can't even get a clear sight of the thing that's in the center. What happens if I hit the button during the day? Okay, so the bin key does not get me into that office. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Fine. Um Yeah, it's just gonna go unresponded to during the day. Is there anything I mean, I don't don't have a knob for this. Um Microwave's out of order. That's a lot of books. Um, I don't see any bins here either. I suppose I could seal that. Oh. Okay, I'll take that. See what's going on at night. Go explore a little bit more. Like I was saying, let's talk um, with Gray again. It's been a while since we chatted. Yeah, what? Goodbye. Yeah, yeah. Man, he seems, I don't know, unhappy about something. No, there's nothing more for me to see in his place, so let's just go back up. Oh, now I can see it. Why didn't I look at this earlier? It still looks pretty cool. I've always been in such a rush that I haven't taken a chance to stop and appreciate that. Uh, so Ellie ran off the other day when we asked her a question. She's still AFK. Um, so fine. Oh, I'm sorry. This isn't what I was looking for, was it? Um, and yeah, we do have a bin key. To find a way to play this. Oh, nice. Why did I not spot that earlier? Huh, maybe Ryan can help. Ryan seems pretty handy. Now have we snooped? Check. There we go. Let's see, Ryan works during the day though, right? Yeah. So let's bug Ryan next time she's awake. Whoops. Back down. Is there a bin in Ryan's workshop? Maybe. Uh, wait, no, I'm sorry, we've talked. My bad. I mean, I think I clicked everything that was there. I'm losing a sense of when that question got asked. So, I forget if I've directly answered it or not. Um, 
Okay. <laughs> so apparently you can wait an entire day and an entire night. That's kind of surprising to me. Okay, so Ryan, what's up? My buddy, my friend, Ryan, how's it hanging? Yeah. Cool. So yeah, sorry for my random comments there. Um, Ryan. Hi. Do you know how I can play a media card? Get a media yeah, card player. player. I meant to fix it earlier. Oh. Get me some Coco Malice from Nico's office, and I'll have it working for you. From the candy machine? How exactly does that thing work? It doesn't. Here, this should do the trick. Oh. Could have given me that Thanks. earlier. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Goodness. Way to withhold things. All right, fine. It's nice that the checklist says, get Coco Melios for Ryan. You know, it specifies exactly what candy. It specifies that indeed this is a task that you need to fulfill. It is part of your sacred mission in this investigation. Um, Okay, so I need to get Coco Melios. Man, all these things are spelled really similarly. Coffee candy, Kringle, Kringle, Kringle. Auntie's acorns, cut smackers, cut a whatever, utter pops. Hmm, it looks like a memory lock. <sighs> Bum, bum, bum. I wonder how long this game goes on. Oh, I, that's my mouse registering click as a double click. I have to be really careful with this mouse. <laughs> dramatic um, so I need to pick up Coco Melios where is that I want to say it's the thing in the middle cuz that's the only thing I can't read yep that was right Oh man, I gotta do this again if I want to take anything else. <sighs> Come on. Okay, I did get Coco Melios for Ryan. Still have to do that. No, no, no. I, I got them. I have not given them to Ryan, but I did get them. Now, whether or not I choose to give them to Ryan is another matter. I probably do want to give them to Ryan, though. Yeah, let's do that. For the sake of this investigation, we'll give up the Coco Melios. Or Mallows. Ah, that makes sense. Cocomallows. 
Oh, I get it. Uh, cocoa like chocolate. Hi. Here's the candy bar you wanted. Hey. Hey, wait. Wait, wait a second. I'll start fixing it right now. Wait a second. Just because I'm saying here's the candy bar you wanted doesn't mean I'm handing over the candy bar. Okay, is it fixed yet? I could use it. Whatever it is. Oh, hey look, we get to look around. Okay. Check. That's done. Huh. Still have to do that. Okay, is there a bin here somewhere? I'm not seeing a bin. Okay, but if I turn around, I see the motorcycle. Wait, there's seriously still nothing I can click on over here. Apparently not. Um, still nothing over here. Uh, dot dot dot. Dot 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 dot. Okay, I guess there's nothing to do here. Can we talk with Ryan at least? Or is Ryan just, like, not in our field of view here? Yeah, apparently there's nothing I can do with regard to bugging Ryan. Because Ryan's out of frame. Can't check that off yet. Um... Have to, can't check that off yet. Okay. Well, oh, well, that's cool. I want to see this exhibit. It looked really cool from a distance. All right. Um, that's right. You're here during the day. Yes. Goodbye. Oh, I just want to chat later. chat about that cat there, that mechanical monstrosity thing. not hit that. Alright, so wait until Ryan successfully reconstructed the thing. Hopefully one day should be enough for that. Do you have anything for me, Ryan? Uh, are you serious? I got you the candy, and I still can't talk with you. That's unfortunate. Is there more filler content for me to uh, enjoy here? Hey there, Nancy Brew. Ryan's been sneaking into the facility. <laughs> She might be trying to avoid ending up in the security logs. Just spitballing here. But do you think you could take her in a fair fight? What kind of question is that? The kind of question you ask someone who is kicking it with killers. You seem pretty certain she's guilty. The first thing you learn in criminology is that most cases are easy. The person who looks guilty usually is. Okay, well that's Goodbye. not exactly Goodbye. helpful. Alrighty, boys. What do you guys got to tell me? Hi. Bye. Apparently you have Bye. nothing. Bye. You're in some kind of submarine, and you have nothing of interest whatsoever to tell me. Empty high. Bye. Better get going. Bye. Okay. Uh, anything else?
Oh, wait. Now, Ellie's here at night. So if I want to talk with Ellie about anything, um, then I need to do it at night. It's locked. Oh, right. That's the lab, not the uh, lounge. Lab and lounge both start with L, but they serve two very different purposes. Okay. Let's go snooping around at night. Can't we just take the stairs? Okay, I can't get into the tech workshop at night. Um, hi. Hi. Goodbye. Apparently, you've Bye. got nothing to say about that room. Very well. Um, just going to print out a solid block. Actually, I could print out a hollow block just for the fun of it. There we go. Burn up all your printing materials. Submit to the 3D printer queue. All right, is there a 3D printer somewhere around oh, here? Nancy, what's up? I'll let you go. Goodbye, Nancy. Is there not a 3D printer somewhere around here? I don't know. Let's see, what do we got? Um. go over here. Oh, so we already tried to talk with Ellie. Ellie didn't have anything to tell us. Um, I guess we could talk with Gray. Maybe Gray will have something to tell us, but who knows. a bin uh, anywhere in this area. I don't see a secured bin of any sort. I really don't want to bug Gray any more than I need to. I don't think there's a, any bin in his space. Can't check that off yet. Um, okay. So, I guess we're going to take more candy. It's nice how this memory game only alternates between these. Arr! Accidental double click. game is hard because my mouse likes to double click itself. This game just keeps going on. Whew. 
Whew, that was tricky. So I want some gummies. Which one of these could be... I mean, these kind of look like gummies, right? Um, surely there's some gummies here somewhere, right? I don't know. Probably there isn't. Which of these looks like... Oh, I'm not sure what I want. Um, take something unusual. Yeah, let's take the coffee candy. That's the one that caught my attention to begin with. Mmm, that was good. Apparently I consumed it, um, so I can't exactly offer to exchange it with anybody. Um, you know, like how Ryan likes to do favors for me when I give her candy. Apparently I can't do that. Um, okay. Well, let's see. Maybe Ryan's finally fixed the audio card, video card, whatever card this is, reader. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, the fixed part would actually not be in Nico's possession, or not in Ryan's possession, but in Nico's. It would be this thing. That's what this thing was. Okay, cool. Nico Diary 1. That's done. Um, let's see. That's done. Something to open the locked lab. Explore the tech workshop. Still have to do that. Yep, you're right. We still have to do that. Um, Ryan's threats against Nico. Hey, Ryan! Were you threatening Nico? It seems like the right way to do it. funny of all the places in here the one i haven't been able to gain access to yet has hey. been the workshop bye goodbye well i guess the lab too um okay it's a little difficult to explore the tech workshop with ryan there um Something to open the locked lab. 
How am I supposed to investigate Ryan's throat? Oh. I suppose if I go back here at night, I could go into the security officer's room. Um, go into Gray's room, see if I can dig up anything. I don't expect to find very much, but you never know what you find. Of course, that's still locked. Um, wait. Is there anything over there? Oh, I can't look at the window. I can't look at this very much. Hmm. I can't look at the table that's got all these items on it. There's a cat arm on the table. I saw there are a ton of items on it. Didn't see a cat arm per se, but let's take a look. Oh, this thing. Got a cat part, a cat part. Oh, our inventory space is getting consumed. Hopefully it extends to a second row once I've picked up another item. Wait, can I take the knob off the dishwasher and... I don't know. Apparently not. Um, oh, Mason beat my score again. Again by 500 points. I mean, I guess that seals it. The fact that Mason just keeps beating my score is kind of unsettling. Isn't it? I think we all need to ask Mason, did Ryan ever beat your score? Because I think that's the crucial question to this case. Okay, we already looked at the logins. Um, there's nothing, no video per se we needed to see. Uh, we don't have a password here, so. I've already beaten this game. Um, nothing more for me to explore here, I suppose. Well, what was this here? 015. Or 015, showing this cat is alive. All those clues could have been useful earlier, I suppose, but not now. Um. I wonder if what I did um, in any way affects my ability to access the workshop. Let's take a look and see if we can see in the workshop from here. I don't think that hitting that button affects this in any way, but I could be surprised. Wait, is this anything above the door? No. Uh, okay. All right, Ellie. Let's see, Ellie, my friend. Oh, How's... Nancy, what's up? I'll let you go. Bye. Man. I don't see anything here. We could do another game of component craze. There we go. Wow. Not a single match.
Yeah, we beat 40 seconds. We beat our record, guys. Nice. It's hard to imagine how Mason doesn't do that all day. But he must have a way that he manages to stay productive. Oh, hey, look, we found a cat part. Oops, didn't mean to double click there. Sorry if anybody's getting seasick from all the clicking I'm doing. Alright, so there's nothing here. We already looked at the whiteboard, we've already thoroughly read through that. Um Hi. Oh. I better get going. Goodbye, Nancy. Did you know anything about Ryan's death threats against Nika? No. It's kind of not how you lead into a conversation. Um, okay, that's cool. Okay. Oh, that's right, I triggered the alarm. Um, hmm, any more cat parts? Apparently nothing from the ceiling. It's interesting that you can hang plants from the ceiling like that. Um... No cat parts over here. Let's see, there's got to be somebody here in the day I can talk with them. Hmm. <laughs> bok, 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 bok. Bok, bok, bok. Wait, is there a bin beneath the bed here? It's weird how your default icons say magnifying glass. I mean, I could open that. Um, can this bin key open this? Nope. Man, this truly is an adventure game. You can point and click on everything. And only a handful of these things are actually responsive. sure what to do. It's locked. Hmm. The table again. Okay. Did I miss something on the table? Oops. Let's go back to our table. Um, I mean, I see all kinds of shelves and stuff, but I'm not seeing anything I'm that the game allows me to click on. I see all this stuff on these shelves. Unless you're dying to s oh. Okay. Let's see, I found a thing. Woohoo! You're smart enough to know what's going to happen if you don't stop. Consider, Nico, consider what I'm saying. If you run the coil in that configuration, it's going to kill you. No, if you're going to do this, you're going to end up dead. Better follow up on this. I'll be personally accepting my reward of Visionaries of Science Conference on the 24th. They certainly believe. I can do what I say. You'd better as well. Get that. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Well, that was special. Um. I found these 
these notes in the lounge, is this your handwriting? Yes. So you admit to threatening Nico. Huh. It looks like a threat, but it really isn't. Oh my goodness. What else could it possibly be? It says right here. I know what it says. Then what? A warning. It means just what it says. He wanted me to build something that could kill him. I had to <sighs> knew what he was working with. My goodness. Do you have anything to prove that's true? You know what? I need you to leave me alone right now. Go, please. Okay. Hey, can I? How's it going? There's nothing to explore here. Hmm. Seriously, where did Ryan go? She left this place wide open for me to snoop around. Can't check that off yet. I've apparently missed something in this workshop. I mean, I'd like to be able to freely explore and click on the things. Uh, but free exploration does not seem possible. clicking on everything I can find and I'm not seeing anything but clearly I've missed something maybe this is the point where I actually just ask the game for a hint oh hey look somebody's calling us oh Really? told me that she has an airtight alibi but okay I don't know who to focus on now that Ryan's been cleared I can't help you there whoever did this was very calculated it's sort of too bad that the rest of your suspects are scientists 
Goodbye. Hang it up. Yeah. I mean, the fact that they're all scientists is what she's getting at. Not the fact that they're scientists. So there's no right. obvious suspect. Ryan's innocent. One down. Maybe she can help you out. Deirdre was actually helpful. That might be more surprising than Ryan's innocent. <laughs> so what's next? Everyone else. I'd better get going. See ya. Well, we need to follow up with Victor about what we've learned, so... Yeah. I don't know. I have to think. Really? Really? That's done. Still have to do that. Victor, how's it hanging? That's true. I guess I better watch my step then. Hey, hey. I guess they would have thought that you would have found the notes earlier than the alibi call. Yeah, right. Yeah. Or that the way you communicate with other people would be that you'd communicate the notes before communicating the call. I completely hear what you're saying there, but... Yeah. I'm just special. I'm still supposed to explore this place, but I click on everything, and there's apparently nothing that's a puzzle. The puzzle is to find the puzzle. And in that endeavor, I'm not doing so well. Check. Haven't done that. Oh, we got a message. I want to talk. Ryan. Okay, cool. Wow, you just like teleported in here while I was in the hallway. You really are innocent. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Don't be sorry. It's the smartest course of action. Look, I gotta ask you. You're not really here for a new investor. You're here to look into what happened to Nico, aren't you? You got me. Yes. I figured the questions you were asking were a little odd considering. I believe someone from this lab Anything you need from me, you got it. Cool. Why are you being so helpful? Nico may have had some crazy, downright dangerous ideas, but he was a good man. His killer deserved to be punished, whoever it is. Oh. Oh. It's just Goodbye. petty revenge Goodbye. then. Yes. It's not because there's a potential 
bad person hanging out somewhere in the lab that needs to be dealt with for our own safety. It's just petty revenge that you want. Okay. Hmm. Can I offer you items? Apparently not. Oh dear. Oh snap. Well, that's not good. Honestly, it had I not seen a playthrough of this game before, and I've only seen parts of it, but had I not seen that before, I would have flipped upon seeing that. Just saying. That's why I don't generally play this category of game, but I did know that was coming. Sorry if it startled anyone. Circuit design. Okay. We do one. Etching solution tank, the image tray, and the start button. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's not going so well now, is it? Anybody got thoughts? Because I sure don't. This is not going so well now, is it? Um, hmm. Found a cat part. Wait, here's the thin key? Silicon wafer. Wait, can I not put this... Let's see. Create your own circuit board. Load the program in the computer next to the etcher. Got to load a blank wafer. <gasps> GG. Huh. <laughs> Bummer. Well, at least we got the cat arm. That's what matters. Sure. Take two. Action. Um, okay, so we got the key, which allows us to get the wafer. Nothing more to be gotten there. Um, Apparently, there's nothing for me to click on here. Um, Hello? Is that you? Are you okay? I'm locked in. Me too. There's no air blowing in. How do I get out? Well, that was valuable. Um, okay. So, etching solution tank, the image tray, the tray for the blank wafers is number three here. Oh, we got to open the tray first, right? How do we operate the damn apparatus? How do we open the tray? Um. Oh, we've unlocked the supply cabinet. We've not yet escaped. Doesn't look like we're going to make it this time either. Uh, just saying. Definitely. I've already got one. I've already got one. 
I told him we've already got one. Huh. Is there nowhere to insert said wafer into this machine? I assure you it's not for lack of effort. Oh, etching solutions in the chemical cabinet. See, I've been... I saw that there are a bunch of chemicals, and I do know a couple things about wafer manufacture. But, um, or about, rather about circuit manufacture, but I couldn't seem to do anything with the chemical cabinet. All right, so we've got to get this open, take our wafer. But once we've got the wafer, we need the chemicals. So when we apply electricity, um, chemicals react with the wafer in a way that prints out the circuit of our interest. But, I don't know. Um, like, I can't interact with the chemicals here. Oh, chemical cabinet. Well, I mean, this is a cabinet. Um, I don't know. Okay. Well, that's worth a try. Oh no, it's locked. It's pretty hot in here. I better find my way out as quickly as possible. Oh dear. At least there's air, being that these are air ducts. I have a sense that I might not make it out. Okay. Oh dear. We made it out in one piece. Um, That's done. Did that. Oh. Still have to do that. Still have to explore the photolithography lab. But more importantly, oh, what are you doing in there? shredding papers. Thanks for the warning. What were you shredding? Nothing. It didn't seem like nothing. Leave it alone. What were you saying to Mason earlier? <laughs> nothing you need to worry about. You seemed a little angry. I was. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so it only took me three attempts to escape. Oh, where's the photolithography lab? Where did the room go? This is certainly not it. Maybe I have to go to the second floor to get access to it? 
Yeah, and I did forget the cat arm, so we'll need to make another visit there. Oh, it says we have to find out what Gray was shredding. Can't just leave things alone. Okay. Can I get access to the photolithography lab from wherever that was? Well, that's weird to see both desks unoccupied. Uh, Ellie normally works the night shift. So, where the heck... I mean, there's got to be a map here, right? Do I go on the first floor or the second floor? Yeah, surprisingly, using the intercom there was useful. Oh, yes, this is the lab over here, right next to Gray's office. No, that's the main lab. That's not the photolithography lab. Um, yeah, I'm seriously confused as to the orientation of this building. Can I... I mean, that must be the photography lab there, right? Like, this thing right here? Um, uh, I guess we'll find a way to gain access to it later. Oh, but for now, we do need to do the things on the checklist. Um, notably, figure out what the heck Gray was shredding. Yep. All right. Well, let's get out of here. You know where there's tape? There's tape over here. Do not move. I need to figure out what was on this page before Ray shredded it. Oh, nice. Right click does rotate. that over here. That's not it. Yeah, I might have to attempt this game another time on a more difficult setting. System calibrate. Actually, almost looks like it lines up so <gasps> oh here we go Hey, look, it's a Tesla coil thing. Got it. Now to find out what was on this page before Ray 
find a way to take this with me. Hey, can I read it first, please? Okay, this has everything to do with, um... Well, can I at least... I should have read that before clicking. But yeah, we can see... go. Well, we could use this to zoom and actually read it. Excessive corona and breakouts reduced. Electrostatic shielding now ideal. Possibility, possible military applications placed in safekeeping. Reconfigure capacitors. Independence value. Resonant circuits between primary and secondary causing some interference. Consider alternate option or combining findings from test with test. Uh, system calibrated to latest test settings. Uh, sine wave generator indicating frequency near target range. Yeah. But basically it just says that they're designing something. When you say take it with me, well, that should not even be... Was put into safekeeping. I better look into that. Yeah. But also, it's not good for me to be holding that note, and that should be disposed of. And picture shall suffice. But whatever. Um, what's been placed in safekeeping? Well, we gotta say hi to Mason, don't we? Um... Also, now that it's day, I don't feel so terrible about calling people. Victor here. Someone knocked me out. What? Are you okay? I am now. But I woke up in a photo lab and someone turned the oxygen off. I could have died. Was off. I think someone was trying to kill me. I'm sure it was an accident. Oh, okay. As long as it was an accident, we don't have anything to worry about. Gray was shredding some documents. What is wrong with my staff? Could you get to the bottom of that, please? Thanks. Bye. Man, you got attitude. Just saying. <laughs> what? Why? Because I assumed it would be hilarious. But don't lecture me or anything, because my dad already did, and that totally counts. Ryan must be good with computers, because that was a while back. I am pretty wow. surprised it took you this long to figure it out. I'm a little stuck on the case. And you called me? <laughs> oh dear. Yep. Yeah. Hey, you know, you should volunteer at one of those neurological study places. Because you have been knocked out a lot, my friend. Oh, you got a good point there. Maybe not the safest place to keep it in your case. Oh dear. I better get going. See ya. That's a good point though. We could do some good research on Nancy. Hi. Someone knocked me out and dumped me in the photo lab with the oxygen off. What? That's crazy. Mason and Gray got into a fight. I couldn't tell exactly what it was about. Something about sneaking things out. Hmm. Might be time to investigate. See if anything's missing in Mason and Ellie's office. Or maybe something's been added. What's that? We're going into a dive. Sorry, I guess we have to go. Sorry, Nancy. Also, this is 
<laughs> so yeah, I suppose you have to get inside the vessel uh, before they dive. It'd be kind of messy to be just stranded above the surface. Something that's been placed in safekeeping. Okay, first, let's go to our good friend, buddy, pal, Ryan. Hi. I was locked in the photo lab. I think someone tried to kill me. The air was off. Yeah, I had to crawl out the vent. No one was trying to kill you. Oh, okay. How could you be so sure? The only one who knew about the air cycling off was me. I'm working on the vent system. <laughs> if someone locked you in, they weren't trying to kill you. Then what were they trying to do? I don't know, but I'll make sure the air stays on. Still, be careful out there. Okay. Goodbye. Later. At least we know that, um, yeah. So Ryan was working on the air at the time that we died twice. But that's not Ryan's fault. That we died. It was just an accident. It's always an accident. Yes. You were here the other night. So what if I was? Someone attacked me. You think it's me? It wasn't, okay? Why do you seem so nervous? <laughs> Shouldn't I be if someone's attacking people? Yes. I'll let you go. Goodbye. Already? If you'd like, I could draw you a conversational exit map. I'll let you go. Goodbye. Goodbye. What are you doing? All right, I can't go there. I need to get this to add up correctly. Ooh, this is the thing where um I get to follow the instructions from earlier. Well, this is shapes. Oh no, this is the this is the magic square. The thing where everything adds up to 15. Actually, wait, I've got notes on this somewhere. Because simply making a magic square I don't think was good enough. Um, but we'll see. Oh, it all adds up to 15. I they hated each other. What's going on here? <sighs> I got New York on the phone. Conference you in. Can't right now. Fine, I'll handle it. Can you meet up tonight? Huh. Wow. Yeah, they got a lot of chatter. Oh, huh, this is half full. I don't remember it being half full earlier. Also, this is apparently the only thing I can look at on the phone. I need to figure out whose car this is. Well, I've got to clean off the card, I suppose, right? Oops. Let's go Hi. chat with Ryan. Goodbye. What else is on our list? That's done. Still have to do that. Oh, we don't know why Mason was in after hours. Haven't done that. Um. Did that. Yep. Haven't done that. Still have can't check that off yet. Okay. An unknown card. It's Ryan's card. She said she broke in because she lost her card. Well, let's see. How do we go about showing Nancy that that's Ryan's card? I mean, I guess I could attempt to show it to Ryan, although Ryan doesn't like it when I'm presenting her things. Hi. 
Here's a thing. Look at the thing. Tell me about it. Or no. So, I mean, and there's one pretty damn fancy piece of equipment right here. Um, but, oh, I'm sorry. There's one thing we could try with the card. We should try the obvious thing. Let's use the card. And then check the records that show up on the machine. Okay, we can't get into the lab, but at least we could use the card. And, um, got a reading on the card. Haven't done that. Um, so to actually do that, we'd have to get access to Gray's room. So we did read the card. Now we're able to go into Gray's room and take a look at. Um, what it is that showed up in the log. Just for redundancy's sake, let's scan the card one more time. And then go over here, hit the button, and then check the card logs. Key cards. Oops, that's not it. Logins. Oh, that's not going to tell me, is it? Um, yeah, I forget what his password was. Um, I'm not sure if I ever knew his password. Yeah, maybe Ellie can help me figure it out. Maybe I don't actually need to read the card in order to figure this out, because, I mean, it was in Mason and Ellie's office. Maybe one of the two of them would know something. Oh. Maybe not. I was really hoping that there would be something there. Okay, so here we got component craze again. We got component designer. Um, but yeah, if we actually want to make progress, um, we might need. To, uh, I just hesitate to chat with Gray about the card because it's going to get taken from me. But what else can I do? See if Ryan will talk with me about it. Although I already tried that, so. Let's see, can. Is Gray still around? Gray is not here. Okay. Um. Huh. Strange. So yeah, Ellie's nowhere to be seen. Um, it's kind of silly for me to check this again, but I'm going to check it anyway. Can Ryan respond in any way that's useful about this unknown card? Or anything I've got, really. Um, or if Mason's around, I could show him some of these cat parts. Hey. Is this your card? Mine has my name on it. Huh. That makes sense. What were you and Ellie doing spending time together? We weren't. I know for a fact you were. For a fact? Well, I know for a fact 
You're wrong. Let me get back to work. Hi. Back already? If you'd like, I can draw you a conversational exit map. I'll let you go. See you later. See you later. Man, he seems really irritable for somebody who thinks logically. Just saying. Can't check that off yet. It makes sense that Mason's card would have his name on it. The Mason just seems to keep his life very much in order. What's up? Bye. I want to show you the card. Can I not show you this card? Alright, well, yeah, I didn't think that I would get too far with that. Um... So apparently what I can do next is, instead of hitting the emergency buzzer, um, just talk directly with Gray. Oops. That's not the lounge, that's the buzzer. Lounge is over here. It's locked. No, that's the laboratory. Why do they put um, the laboratory opposite the buzzer? And right next to the lounge. There's probably a reason, but it doesn't make very much sense. It seems like you'd want to have that buzzer near the lab somewhere. So if something went wrong, somebody could just run out of the lab and hit the buzzer and signal everybody much quicker. Okay. Do you have anything to tell me? Do you know why Mason and Ellie would be spending time together? I thought they hated each other. I have a theory. What is it? Secret. Oh. Well, great. Thank you. Secret is Bye. the reason. Bye. Um. Hmm. Haven't done that. Okay. Haven't done that. Can't check that off yet. Here's a card. Tell me about the card. Confiscate it, please. I'll let you go. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Well, I appear to be... Well, okay. Let's take one more look around here. I don't assume that this thing can actually read cards. Hmm. Just audio chips. Um. Oops, that's not how to approach the next day. Um. So, I need to find a uh, lounge. This thing. Not there. My mouse would stop double clicking when I single click. That would be fantastic. Um, one, one. There we go. Nothing to see there. Oh, I have to go down to get around. Okay. Next day. Man, this place looks so bright and cheery during the day. So, is Mason going to have anything more to tell me now that I've talked with Gray? Um, hey. Bye. Goodbye. Apparently that's it. Um, Alright, anything else? Can't 
check that off yet. We've not explored the tech workshop, although I've certainly attempted to. Um, Man, Ryan's slacking. Just in terms of putting that motorcycle together. I better get going. Later. Okay. I suppose there's still nothing to see here. Hmm. How's it going underwater, guys? Hi. Oh, wow. I get reception. Something weird is going on. Mason and Ellie are actually working together. Don't they hate each other? I thought so. Either they're lying, or they've got some strong outside motivation to put aside their differences. Huh. They're working together in secret. So, do you think corporate espionage? Could be. <laughs> Well, I just gotta make some more leads, you know. Hey there, Nancy Grill. I better get going. Hang it up. Nancy, hi. Ellie and Mason are working together. What? What? I it was strange, what? Considering how they feel about each other. Double down on those. Oh dear. Although, if you were trying to sell whatever invention Nico was making, Bye. Later. having Nico dead would not actually help you. At least if you're trying to orchestrate some kind of legitimate sale. If you're just selling it on Craigslist or something, um, that could be a bit adventurous. But if you want to deal with a buyer who's not going to kill you, um, yeah, you might want Nico to still be alive. Because what kind of legitimate buyer is going to buy that sort of um, good that's been damaged? <coughs> Well, I'm not, hmm. kind of confused at this point. None of the characters are talking with me. And I can't seem to find um, any way to make progress here. I did collect a ton of cat parts. I can't seem to assemble them with each other. Um, Edward Shellington Esquire the second. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm not sure what kind of, like, insurance policy they have for that sort of thing. Well, we can ponder this, ponder this riddle, because I'm not really sure what else there is here. But there's got to be a way to find the photolithography lab. Um, 
or figure out what exactly it is that I've been missing in the tech workshop because um, Do 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 do. Like, do I have to like gaze up upon the ceiling and climb back into the air vents to find my way to the workshop? Surely no. Surely there's a better way. So many elements. Um. I don't get it. Um, hmm. So nobody's talking with me. I guess I could keep going up and down in the elevator until some kind of inspiration hits. Um... Well, seriously, what have I missed here? Have I not clicked Hi. every single thing let you go. in the workshop? Hi. Yeah, has there been anything I have not clicked here? Can I touch anything on this remote? Security office, do not remove. Hmm. I'm still missing parts. I need to find them first. Hmm. So maybe finding cat parts to be part of my endeavor here. Hmm. Not sure where the remaining cat parts would be. Um. This could help getting into the lab. Oh, well that's good. Nice. Wait. Does this mean I finally ex successfully explored the tech workshop? Thank goodness. Check. Okay, cool. We're now we got five things left. Can't check that. Still, still, still haven't done that. Oh, six haven't things. That. Is that six or five? I think that's six. Let's chat. Oh. Bye. Bye. All right. Um. Sure, so let's use that card that we just obtained, which I'm assuming is Ryan's card, but it might not be. That was really well concealed. Either that or I'm just blind as a bat. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah that's where the remaining piece is. It's in the photography lab, and Ryan says, um, I'm not going to die this time. Yeah, of course, that didn't work. Um, so I probably need a lecture from the security guy just talking about how cards work. I mean, that's kind of ridiculous. Or I mean, Ryan should be able to tell me that sort of thing too, but Ryan's not talking. Um... I want access yeah, you to your can. damn lab. My new investor really needs to know what's in that lab. 
Um, all right, so I mean, unless Ellie suddenly shows up and can provide insight, um, which maybe is the case. We're going to check here first, because you never know, maybe Ellie just suddenly is here and decides to be useful. But no, that's not the case. Um, yep, nothing to see there either. Um, so let's see, can we get into the workshop? Nope. we use anything to like break into the door to get into the workshop? Nope. Um, let's use one of those two key cards to get into the lab. Unknown card. Nope. Blank card. Nope. Okay. So. Uh, so I need access to that key card program. So here's what we do. Here's the key card program. Oh, password. Damn it. Um, observations. <laughs> There's nothing here that could be considered a password. Nothing here. Anything here that could be considered a password? I doubt it. Enter. Nope. Um. One, two, three, four, five. Damn it. Okay. We seem to have stalled on our investigation owing to, um, you know, the security guy actually being competent in what he does. Um, did he write down his new password? I didn't think so. We found a cat part. Then to see there. Huh. That's just a large vent. Ray's shredded notes seem to mention this was important. Oh, I took something. It's a puzzle of some sort. Um, Ray's shredded notes seem to mention this was important. Okay. Down, down, down. Oh. Two and a half turns. One and a half turns. Three quarters turns. Okay, we can do that. Uh, what was that? Two and a half. Uh, one and a quarter, three quarters. Nice. What's someone with a PhD uh, doing working in security? Ooh. Maybe it's a phony PhD. Keep 
stay out of the lab. I have work to do in the lab. You propose I abandon my lab. Stay out of my lab. Not in the mood for one of your tantrums. Your leaky ship grave. What are you, well, you're paranoid. Drop it and move on. Get something I need to know. Working with someone on the side. If I find you've been funneling my work elsewhere, you'll be on the street and untouchable as the day I took you on. Go ahead. Threaten me, Nico. See where that gets you. Okay. Well, we got a password. Funny that the head of security writes his password down on a note. Because, like, that's the one thing you're not supposed to do with your passwords is write them down. Oh, come on. Did I not read that? Or maybe I'm just remembering it. Here it is. L B T Y six five one zero five two nine. Oh, that's not it. L B T Y six five ten. Two fifty nine. I thought that's what I typed the first time. Oh, video file. I'm sorry. That's not a password, that's a video file. Okay. My bad. Apparently I'm supposed to know that. I mean, I guess it is kind of in a similar format to the other video file numbers. Oh, I have to play it. Alright, there's the victim. Oh. Well, that's not good. Damn. Ray, is this the unedited tape? If it is, wait, what's that code in the corner? Oh, I've got to remove some photos on account of having taken too many already. Um, I suppose I don't need this one probably don't need this one either. Uh... Okay, let's just mosey our way out of here. Oops, didn't mean to open that again. Alright, next day. Yeah, you're right, that was a video file. And, yeah, he's got a doctor of physics, but it's doing security work. But, I mean, I guess... I guess that has a higher chance of being authentic than not, but why would he put it here? I guess he did lock it away, though, but... Man, that's weird. Got a doctor of physics who's doing security work. He must have messed something up earlier. Now the remaining parts in the lab. The remaining part is in the lab. Um What are you doing? Oops, forgot this is daytime. Yes. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Yeah. Right. Of course that's just I mean who knows what Mason's even threatening. 
Or, I'm sorry, that's not Mace I'm threatening with. That's... I forget. Colorful gear-shaped stickers might mean something. I found a blank key card, now to find a way to get it programmed. <sighs> well, I don't know how to find my way into the photolithography lab. Um, I guess my only remaining course of action is to actually uh, talk with Gray. Um, figure out what the extra data showing on the video with Gray means. Oh, right, I could talk with Ryan about that, except Ryan's not talking. Check. Um, figure out the password to activate the keycard program. Um... Yeah, no, we've only heard allegations as to why people were there. Um, oh. Hang on. You can tell me things about videos and numbers, right? I just found another video. This time it shows Gray entering the lab right before Nico died. Get a handle on things, would ya? I've already read that report. <laughs> Thanks for your help. I better get going. Hang it up. Okay. Guys. How's the submarine going? Hey, I better get going. See ya. Man, he looks so happy. Nancy, hi. I saw a video of Gray going into the lab the night of the murder. I better get going. Bye. Come on, can somebody give me more leads to go on, please? <laughs> okay. Also, what's with all the creaking noises? It's locked. It's locked. It is so locked. Um, okay. So, figuring out uh, Gray's password is going to be no easy feat, I assume. It's not like he just leaves it lying around. But how great would it be if I just dis accidentally discovered it? Um... All right, let's have a chat with Gray. Yeah, right. I mean, it seems like a stupid thing to do, but I'm kind of running low on options. What do you want? Can you explain these emails? Depends. Can you explain what you're doing? <laughs> Very well. Get out. Ain't you got something better to do? <sighs> What's someone with a PhD doing working in security? There's nothing wrong with what I do. Well, I didn't say there was. It just seems like you could do something more in line with your school. Uh, er engineers and physicists wouldn't bother with that. add up about your position here. Leave it. Nico must have known about your qualifications, but he put you in security, which means he kept you around because... Because he felt bad for me. Fine. Let my friend take care of me. Happy? Okay. If that's that's true, cool. You have a strange way of paying back the favor. You were threatening him in those emails. 
And something tells me you were leaking his work. That's not true. Whoever your source is, they're wrong. Good to know. Is there any reason you would have entered the lab right before Nico died? No, enough. No more questions. Why won't you leave it alone? Well, because someone killed Nico. Right. I want to know who. Why? What do you mean, why? No one deserves that. Whoever did it should be locked up. Or worse. Okay. I mean, you're right. I'll let you go. Bye. Say your piece, then leave me in mind. I'll let you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um Can't check that off yet. No, we can't. Yeah. Uh dot dot dot. It's not a whole ton we're able to do, I guess. Uh we need to advance to the next day and chat with more people. There's not any chance that Ellie's actually finally back here, right? But yeah, to your question, I don't think that any physicist would bother with the microwave. Um, and I doubt that en engineers would either, other than as a curiosity or as a practicality to them. Um, yeah, what the heck? Where did Ellie go? Ellie, my friend, where did you go? It's not here, wherever it is. So let's go to the next day and chat with everybody. Um, here, let's just hang out in the elevator and chat. Bye. Bye. Huh. I mean, I guess if they have a sense of investment in that equipment, I guess. Hello? I'd better get going. Talk to you later. I, yeah, I guess to some degree that does make sense. The engineers just don't let things sit. They handle things. Because otherwise it just stays in an awful state forever. And Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oops. Sorry. We need to advance one more half a day. Man, that looks nice outside. Okay. Um. Still can't gain access. So let's chat with Ryan, I guess. Ryan, do you have anything to tell us? Hi. I'd better get going. Later. Okay. You don't have anything to tell us. Um. Mason. Hey. Hi. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Okay, um, not sure where to take this next. That's done. Um, still have to do that. Haven't done that. Can't check that. Can't check that. Still have to. Still have to do that. Well, well, well. We seem to be at an impasse. Unless somehow that extra data showing with the video is also a password. I mean, if that's not the case, I'm not sure what to do. So, do we have that number written down anywhere? 
We don't. Hmm. <laughs> well, these colorful stickers might mean something. Um, I don't know what that thing about the shapes refers to either. Well, no. Yeah, no, I don't need to explore, explore the workshop anymore. Oh, yeah, I guess possibly his password could be something that's on his diploma. It is something he did hide away, so potentially that could be related. Uh, or it could just be something stupid like Tesla. You know, a secure password. Oops. Yeah, if we're going to try to uh, hack his password, we better do it this way. Not when he's there, but when he's not there. Okay. Um, let's see. From Kingston University. Gary or Gray Courtright, the degree of physics in theoretical physics, June 12th, What's the date? Maybe the date that was on that diploma. June 12th, else could it be? Uh, it could be something in Nico's diary, but now we're stretching. Man, those subject lines are special. Huh, <laughs> no subject on that last one. Visionaries of Science. No clues on the card itself, of course. G R A Y. Oh. 
Okay, yeah, maybe that's worth trying, Kingston, with those numbers. Kingston, 0612, 1979. Um, that doesn't fit. O six twelve seventy nine. Nope. Um. Hmm. Kingston. Nineteen seventy nine. Nope. Okay. Um. Is there anything in the coat? Is there anything in the coffee maker? <sighs> Kingston University hereby confers upon Gray Courtright the degree of Doctor of Physics in the field of theoretical physics given at New York on June 12, 1979. And he's got his password secured somehow. <laughs> I thought I tried. Oh, I tried 0612 1979. 061279 June uh, 12 1979 June 1279 Okay, we're going to cheat just to keep this moving. Um, take a good look around Gray's office. That's really not helpful. We'll need to wait for hint number two. Come on, hit number two. The stickers with a single number or letter will spell out the password. Make sure to find all 12. The stickers with a single, okay. I really don't feel like going all around the entire building looking for them. So if you could just tell me what it is at this point, I hate to do this, but uh, I could spend another half hour going around the entire building finding those. Arrows around each circle are important. Start at the 12 o'clock position. Yeah. I'm sure it's an awesome puzzle. Well, it says find all 12. It's got to be a 12 letter password. Get out of there. Oh, cool. <laughs> awesome. Well, it looks like I should have been nervous anyhow. Hey, can we continue with, no, fine. You have made a fatal error. Yeah, sure, let's give it another try. Except this time, get the heck out of here first. Ah, sigh, sigh, sigh. All right, so we're going to try nighttime again. I figured after all the times I've been in there, 
that the game wasn't actually threatening to catch me. Um, so. Can't check that off yet. You're correct. Yeah, no, we saw letters all over the building. I'd have to write them all down, keep track of them all, and then assemble them all together. So, let's get on our way over to the button while that's filling in the gauge. That's not the button. Button's on the other side, this wonderful central figure. I know I could solve these, and I know, um, start at the 12 o'clock position. Now I guess there are 12 of those letters, and each one has a arrow. I mean, we did see that all over the place. I assume that those were actually for the Telltale logo. Oh, it's not even a word. Okay. That makes solving the puzzle ever so slightly less endearing. Um, okay. Password is VFR. W O D. G Q G G. U H Z. Oh, okay, cool. Oops, let's not do place that just yet. Okay, where does this bit go? Here somewhere? Here? That's no good. How do I use this device? I'm getting out of here, but... Um, yeah, we're going to try this again. Um, with the full uh, thing. No, I would not be happy if it spelled out the word password. I was just hoping it'd be some 
irregular sequence, like something that's a really uncommon word or a combination of words or some some clever wordplay thing. He's actually a step smarter than that, so I have to give him a ton of credit. I mean, we have a blank key card. We might not know that it's blank. Oh, here we go. Um, this was the card that opened the lab the night of the murder. Okay, cool. This might be important evidence. I can't alter it. Oh, right. Hmm. I have flubbed this. Oh, this red square doesn't belong there. It belongs right here. The green, like this. Purple, a yellow. Blue, um, purple, green, orange. Now I have to stack them appropriately. Um, yellow on top. Let's put red on top for a second. You know what? Um, Can't leave the card behind. Oh right. Damn it. Hmm. We need to get out. Hmm. <laughs> we need to try this again. <laughs> Truly, I'm doing him a favor. Uh, I did almost have that. Oops. You'd think that after a while he would like fingerprint the button to see who was playing with the button, but until then, he's got to take every one of these things seriously. Um, unknown card. Oops. Okay, we'll take that, whatever that is. I assume it's a cat part. It's a knob. Oh. Cool. 
So that's the card number. Um, now we've read that card. Put the blank card in. All right. Let's try this slightly differently this time. Um, purple down here. I'm going to try to adjust things as we go along so there aren't as many things to adjust afterward. Um, okay, that's on top. Um, yellow's on top of purple. Green's on top of yellow, like this. Um, red is pinky, peeking out underneath. Wait, is that the orange down there? What's that in the corner? I'm not sure what that <clears throat> what that is in the corner. Yeah, that actually looks better. Um the red here. Uh, yellow covers the red. Um, the red's on top of the blue. Um, it's close. We need to put the blue back. It's not it either. We're close. I think we're going to fail again. Um, so yellow needs to be on top of the green. That's not it either. Um, hmm, that's a problem. You know, the controls suffer a bit because you can't change the stacking order very easily. Uh, something about this is not right. We'll just take it and assume it's right. And then um, maybe not explore the lab at night because Oh, did I fail that? I guess we'll know when we try out the card. Um, whoops. Yeah, we failed it. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm going to check in with Ryan again. Maybe Ryan can tell us something about technology. I found a card in Mason and Ellie's office that was used to get into the lab the night Nico died. Why would that be there? I don't know yet. They both have their reasons to be angry at Nico. Reasons? Like what? He believed that scientific breakthroughs belong to everybody. Technology should be shared freely. That's noble. <laughs> he took it to an extreme. He 
didn't put a dollar value on his work or anyone else's. Rumor has it he would incorporate their work into his own without asking. Oh. I don't think he understood what he was doing to them. He's a big name with stable funding. They're just scraping by, and Ellie's got major debt. Oh, well, that's not good. one of them could have killed Nico? This place is like a fortress. It had to be someone associated with the lab. So the way I see it, there's a 66% chance it was one of them. Okay. I'll let you go. Bye. Can you tell me anything else about... That was quick. <laughs> I'd better get going. Yeah. Later. I guess you can't tell me anything about key cards, can you? Sixty-six percent, eh? Yes. I'll take my chances. I'll let you go. Goodbye. What are you doing? I'm just leaving. That's what I'm doing. What are you doing? Okay, so... We're gonna try again. See if I can print out a card that will uh, permit me access to the lab. Oops. Can't do it while Gray's there, now can we? Whoops, not this. Okay, so we got a card number. Okay, key cards. If I remember right, uh, we had a small blue thing somewhere around here. Small purple up here. Although that's occluded by the blue, but behind this blue. Uh, small green that's underneath this purple. So, got to put the purple somewhere. And put the blue back on top. green, which I think is rotated like this. Um, is this the right way to rotate this? I assume so. Wait, no. This has got to be like that. Maybe that's what I've been messing up. Okay, and that's underneath the yellow. Oh, hang on. Possibly have the two blues confused. Um, oh, I could take a picture and solve this offline. Just totally what you're supposed to do. yellow on top that looks right this might be important evidence I can't alter it Might be important evidence. I can't 
alter it. Okay. Well, we'll try this tomorrow morning. And, you know, um, if this isn't successful, then, I mean, we've probably hit the most logical breaking point in the game. Um, so let's give this one more go here. And if this is not successful, we'll take a break. Um, Yeah. Uh, so the one remaining thing I could do here, now that I've got this knob, I do know what I can do with the knob. It's nothing stellar, really. Yeah! Solved. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, although I cheated on it, but it's done. Let's see, journal. Oh, that's awesome. Puts that in the solved part of my game. Um. That's done. The owner of the key card. Wait, I don't remember who was the owner. Oh, we found it like was a card that didn't match anything on file, right? Um. Do have to do that. <laughs> do have to do that. Yep, yep, yep. So I think that's the most logical breaking point we can have. Uh, unfortunately, means that today we're not going to be solving this or finishing this game. But that lets us build suspense for next time now, doesn't it? So, for those who have been here the whole time, uh, thanks for your help. Hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry if my babbling has got on anybody's nerves. I hope it hasn't. Um, and yeah, look forward to us solving this game. Completing this game, rather. Alright, have a good day. Have a good night. Thanks for watching.